<laughs> the cave is dark, quiet, empty, with nothing but the old roots to keep you company and the blot that surrounds you. The ghosts seem unattentive to your presence. And as Lyra picks up not only the vision from the ghost on the throne, but the scales that she found on its seat, I'm going to need everyone to immediately roll for initiative. Yay! Do we roll, um, is, uh, got mine. is here, initiative here oh, technically damn. a check that we would get disadvantage on because no, of poison? No, uh, poison is purely for ability checks. So purely like a strength check, check a dexterity check, stuff like that. Oh, not, uh, uh At least checks. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Poison. I, I well, thought on, that, let's see. I thought initiative I is an ability check, if I'm not mistaken. I could the be poison, wrong. Get, uh, attack rolls and ability checks, but it doesn't say initiative. No, initiative, right, like, I, it I, will explicitly say initiative. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, attack okay. rolls and ability checks. Great. Right. Not like we're going to be making a lot of those today. <laughs> oh, boy. Right. Then a great and start to the, the game. Lot. Okay. And is this just an absolutist poison, or do we re-roll every round to try and beat it? This... I think it's absolute. We're, like, for, like, one D4 hours, I think. So yes, yeah. I'm gonna say one hour. Nah, okay. So that is going to be that. Maybe the blot will let us sneak in a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hold up! <laughs> now, right, first up a, is Fritz. Get a quick haunt oh, here. Come on, right. Fritz. <laughs> uh, quick power nap. <laughs> Just kill all of them before it's their turn, Fritz. It's easy. Just do that. Yeah, yeah Rangers have multi attack, multi shot. You got it. You got it. You got it. Multi means many. Yeah. That's what shot how many blobs are around. shooting the bullet. <laughs> Math checks out. Yes. We've not encountered a friendly blot yet. Maybe. And I know we rolled initiative. <laughs> I understand that. Maybe it's fine. We, we encountered one honest blot, and that's about it. That's the diversity I, we have. I, and then I hit it with I, lightning, so sorry about that. Yeah. Negotiations have broken I down. Think <laughs> I'm going to start off with casting Hail of Thorns on. Oh, how do I ping again? Uh, when you kind click the spell. Click and hold. Oh, click and hold click. when you're not on the measuring tool. <clears throat> uh, how big is Hail of Thorns again? It's, it's within five well. feet of the target, I'm pretty sure. Right? Ah, oh, so it, it doesn't cover that big of an area. Mm. I mean, oh, they're within five feet of each other. Two. Yeah, I'm gonna go for these two with Hail of Thorns. I think Hail of Thorns is in an area around the target. Could you put the yeah. um, the spell description in the chat? Uh, there you go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I thought that would should be show in VTT. Mm -hmm. There you go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's any oh, creature. Oh yeah, I thought so. Creature. It's an attack. Uh, so it, it it's like an augment on a, a ranged weapon yeah. attack. Mm -hmm. so, so so both of these would actually have to make uh, the deck saving throw. Yeah, but you well. need to so, shoot them. So yeah, you hit I was this just, one. I was, I was declaring yeah, I was right. declaring I was gonna use it at, at that okay. moment and then yep, yep, shoot. Yep. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right. Make sure you roll. You're gonna we're, don't we roll with disadvantage for poison? You do. You're gonna roll an attack at disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, how do I do it on disadvantage again? I think if you hold, think hold control, control, yeah, hold, and then yeah, click hold control and then click. Ooh, a nine yeah. is not going to be enough. It just goes wide. You don't waste your Ooh. hail of thorns because it's for the next attack that you land. Uh, okay. But it goes wide. It your bolts just whoop, into one of the stray uh, wooden roots mm -hmm. around. I'm pretty sure you have a second I, attack, yes? I guess on a hit. Yes, I just didn't know if that counted because I casted a technically casted a spell. It's the next time you hit a creature. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a bo This spell is a bonus action. How many attacks do you have per round at your level? Two. All right. Then yeah, then you can make yeah. It says the next time you hit. All right, okay, eighteen then. will yes. hit. Okay. All right. It's just I know sometimes a spell counts. Oh yeah, it's yeah. one bonus action. My bad. Sorry, it's been a while. I'm getting back it's into okay. it. Yeah. It's all good. We're shaking the Don't rust worry. off. Don't worry. You know what can yeah. help you learn better? Playing more Baldur's Gate because it's... <laughs> oh, God, yeah. That's right. This game is sponsored. Been playing, <laughs> I've been playing Warlock. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> and Bard. Not sponsored, by the way. We're not sponsored. We're not sponsored, but that'd be cool, not right? Sponsored. Not Not go. even in support of. Doesn't no. 18. <laughs> <laughs> actively, actively against. Antagonist. <laughs> Does a 18 hit? An 18 does indeed hit, and I'm gonna have to roll deck saves for them. Okay. And they take four fire, right? They do take four fire as well. So <laughs> the blot that you fire at 
is going to splatter. That one's dead. Yeah. These two, one of them makes their save, one of them fails. Um, so the one that makes their save is going to take a four. And the one that fails is going to take an eight. And it is barely holding itself together. Okay, cool. But that you do, it does, the thorns spread out and land into these two blot goops, little blot slimes. But they all I still seem to have their attention fixated on Lyra. <laughs> oh, balls. Lucky me. Next I did what I could, Lyra. <laughs> Do you want to move at all, Fritz? Um, I'm kind of enjoying being perched over here by uh, <laughs> Okay. Buck, I'm not gonna lie. There's something comforting about it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it's a power of fusion. <laughs> uh, okay, that's so And we got a shoulder good. each word. <laughs> Yeah, this this poncho is gonna save my life. Wait, you if see, you like, my head if, pop out <laughs> from the neck. <laughs> if you move over, will it say Fritz Buck word? If you if you get Fritz over to the word. left hand uh, side, it, it says Word Buck Fritz to me on my screen. <laughs> yeah, which is pretty yeah, awesome. Let's change that up. The other one will be better. <laughs> okay. Scoot oh, yourself, Fritz. Sorry. Oh. You gotta select. You gotta, you gotta collect there we go. Yeah. Select tool. Fritz Buck word. Uh -huh. Splitting the party. We'd have formed a Megazord by now. <laughs> Fritz word. Buck word. Hold on, it's not updating on my other roll twenty for some reason. It's updating on my roll 20 where I'm the dungeon master, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, good. don't forget that Fritz Bookward has a reach of 20 feet right now. <laughs> you no. can just pick me up. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> Wait, if I move... There we go. Yeah, it's yeah Fritz Bookward. Yeah, for some reason, <laughs> Buck was shifted there. over to the left on my screen. I don't know why. I was... Uh, so was... It was true on mine, too, yeah. yeah. Huh. I don't know why. Yeah. Anyway, right, well, now it's the Blot's Fritz turn. Fritz And they are all going to oh, go get directly for Lyra. Eh. No, As they, <laughs> they didn't go for Fritz climb Buckward. atop, you know the the roots, and slither oh, on that's over. Not great. They ah, practically surround you. <laughs> oh, this Buck gets an attack of opportunity. Buck does get no, an attack, attack of opportunity. Oh, I do. At this on this one, all the others I think are still in range. Let's see how many were. They were oh. like <laughs> oh lord. Oops. Yeah, I was. The, that's where I thought I was. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you have attack of opportunity on. Pretty much every single one that's moving. Uh, like this one, you have attack on that one. Do you want me to roll for it? If you well, he want. Gets one as a bonus action, so I, you get to pick. This one, this one. Or a reaction. Not a bonus. This yeah, one. one reaction. I'll just roll it once and then. Pretty sure this one. Yeah, you roll it once and you'll pick. All right, 25 is going to hit any one that you're choosing. Uh, let's do maybe this one, I think. This, this one? one? All right. Let's. Uh, so, so 11, ooh, 11 bludgeoning. I'm also gonna do an additional like one d four because I'm because of enlarge. Mm -hmm. It's just not it's just not on there. Oh yeah, you smack <laughs> just smash it into smithereens. Nice. One less blot to, for Lyra to worry about, but the rest of them are also gonna slither along. Yay! Squish along, just kind of between your legs, Buck. Ugh. What uh, attack of oh, opportunity? Gross. Yes, word. You have an attack of opportunity. <laughs> and Fritz as well. Oh shit! Uh, what oh do boy, I do that's a lot going at Lara. Oh, uh, just roll, roll yeah, a roll. melee attack. Roll, roll again. A melee attack. I, I don't want to say that I was hiding, like, suddenly. So I'll yeah. Mm. Oh, hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'll I'll take it, which means that it would cancel okay. out, but a ten wouldn't hit. So yeah, I would say you're than, hiding. So. Your hiding would that's give you uh, advantage. Advantage. Um, which would cancel out your disadvantage. So I, well, I guess we'll just take oh, that first okay. roll. Uh, That's right, disadvantage, I forgot. Yeah, because you're poison. Yeah, no worries. The poison. The poison, the poison, the poison for word. Say. Word's poison. <laughs> I guess I have, oh yeah, I was just double checking. I think I, I was okay, trying to find my dagger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still trying I'm sorry, to- I'm sorry, I was trying. <laughs> trying to swing its stab at the blot that's heading towards Lyra. You unfortunately are unable to get a good Stab in as the blot surrounds her. Oh my her. gosh! Oh <laughs> no! Let's go, girls. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And what is your what is your AC as a uh, giant bat? As a giant bat, I have armor class thirteen. Thirteen, okay. Which is two points better than my normal armor class. Okay, so word by Fritz. Five of the blot hit you. Okay. okay. That's, that's so, okay. It's good. That could be worse. There's like yeah, that could 20. be worse. There's like a bunch of them. Are the, maybe the blood are also poison. Taste of their own medicine, you could say. You take 21 force damage. 
<laughs> okay, well, I'm not a bat anymore. <laughs> no more. Delete yeah. that. Uh, that's that's uh, my five bat HP are gone, and then that's 16 additional force damage, right? Or, yes. Because you're 21. Yes. Okay. 16. Okay, there goes my seven temp HP. Uh, <laughs> so you are retracted back into your shifter form. Yes, I'm I'm normal size now, but I was on the throne. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. They can still surround me. Yeah, this is just for, like, map adjustment reasons. We can still say you're on the throne. That's fine. Cool. In fact, I'll just, I'll just shift everyone over for convenience sake right there. <laughs> Yay. Zoom. Lyra, your turn. You're surrounded by blood. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, pfft. Yeah. Um, let's do... A thunder wave, real quick. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> I love a target-rich environment. Um, no, because that's not an attack. Oh, let me say where I'm putting it first. Um, mm -hmm. Let me just uh, let's see. Fifteen foot cube. Oh, Fifteen foot cube. I think I would like to put it. Oh, this won't get all of them, but I also don't want to hit anybody. So I think like just clear these ones out. If that looks okay. Yeah, that's good. I think so. Yeah, I mean, All right, con saves for that. Well, actually, sorry, sorry, hold on. Uh, I have a better idea. Can I don't know how to delete that one. Um, it's just basically just putting it on the other side. Uh, so, like, here, if I could. Uh, yes, you may. Great. Here, let me delete that right. one for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's just a... Um, oh, God, how does this work? Where's my character sheet? Everything's falling apart. Um DC 14 con, con save. Yes, uh, everyone makes a DC 14 con save uh, and is pushed 10 feet away from me on a successful save. They take half as much damage and aren't pushed. Okay. All right. Oh, this isn't Shatter. This is Thunder Wave. All right. This is Thunder Wave, Thunder yes. Wave. I don't know why I thought it was Shatter. Uh, yes, okay. So... Uh, two of them fail. They are pushed back, but they're also dead. As you just splatter them, and you just see j this like black liquid just <laughs> splatter against the cave walls and uh, the the pillars. Besides, just Gross. completely painting the place black as if it wasn't dark like, like enough when you already. Step on a ketchup. <laughs> step on a ketchup packet. Just yeah. Shit and these two making their saves, but do have seem to struggle keeping their form. Cool. All right. Well, that was my spell. Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, I have very few bonus actions that I can use, and I already used my Misty Step for the day, I think. So, uh, I kind of, if I move away, I'm going to tank like five attacks of opportunity. <laughs> so I think I'm staying on the throne. <laughs> All right, then. All right, that's my turn. Yeah! Buck! Your turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd like to rage, but I can't, because I've used them all for the day. Uh, oh. So let me just get... I'm going to attack recklessly on the one directly in front of me okay. so that it just becomes a regular attack. All right. Okay, yes, the one right in front of you, no problem yes. at all, splatters it as if you were stepping on bubble wrap. And because I have um, Go Go Gadget bugbear arms, I'm gonna try and get this one directly in front of Lyra uh, first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With Again, your second and attack, I'm still attack. Yeah, and I'm still attacking recklessly. Yes. Okay. Twelve is going to hit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I should get one d4. I didn't roll it on the other one. That's okay. But, the other uh, one's dead. So, so. Uh, yeah, that'll boosh, explode this one as well. You're clearing out the blot infestation. Okay. Uh, uh, can I like step into the squishy bits and like I, yes. like I can't move specifically, but I want to be up. I want to be like where these four were. Yes, you may. And, and I realize that not on the word for Fritz. Some reason. Oh wait, am I yeah. moving with you? Because I'm on your like offset. There we go. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm on your shoulder, so I guess I'm yeah. moving with you. <laughs> You're perched yeah. on the moving object. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'd say yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'll move them. <laughs> I want to cover your well. beautiful face. There you go. Lyra, hop on. <laughs> and I'll end my turn In a moment, there. Buck. Great. We must form the Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Yeah, Next. I'll end, I'll end my turn there. Word. Your turn. Uh, I'm gonna drop down Buck's pant leg and slide out next to his boot, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, up, like up, like upside just, down. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> just immediately hit the ground and like bow my head and like raise my hands and apologize and be like, "It's okay. She didn't mean any harm. She was just warming the seat for me." <laughs> and I'm gonna cast uh, or use Grovel Cower and beg so that everyone has normal attacks instead of disadvantage for. Whoa! The next oh, sick! Oh, yeah! Whoa. That's sick. Wonderful. <gasps> Real MVP. What do you, you get that? Advantage, but what do you get like for it? The I get that from on being your... a kobold. Oh, really? <laughs> and the flavor yeah. on it is uh, delusions of grandeur. <laughs> yeah, it's That's the, the opposite best. of what it should be. <laughs> That's everything within 10 feet of me, which I think is actually every one of them. Yep, every yeah. single one. Cool. Oh, well God. Done. <laughs> and uh, is that an action? Uh, that is, yeah, an action in combat. My bonus actions, I just have two weapon fighting, which I can't use, or cunning action. After I've done that, can I try and hide again? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Slide okay. back up like, at the Give me a stealth check. Yeah. <laughs> just, you do, you do. do. He does the, like, <laughs> the, 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 boot. <laughs> the Homer Simpson disappearing into the bushes. But <laughs> yeah, but into, into, <laughs> into Buck's <laughs> leg hair. Buck bear hair. Uh, <laughs> all right. Woo, That's whoa. exactly what you do. You clasp, you put Literally. your hands together, do a little apology, and then you slide into Buck's massive bugbear <laughs> leg hair. <laughs> all right. Get him, Fritz. Fritz, your right. attacks Fritz. Have n are normal now instead of disadvantage. Oh, boy. <laughs> 28. Against every I'm single target, you know, nearby. To... You can't see me. What are the ones closest to you? I can't do it within a certain... Actually, mm, how tall is Buck right uh, now? Oh, boy. Oh, I think he's probably like 50... I think he's like close to 13, 14 feet, because I think enlarged okay. doubles you in size. Right. Mm. And I, think I just can't remember if I'm shooting like someone within a certain like feet, six, do I get disadvantage? Uh, I think if, if you're somebody them when you're in melee, with them. yes. Uh, but so I if you shot the ones to your left, I think those would be a disadvantage. No, but... it's yeah. you, you have disadvantage if there is anyone within melee range of you, regardless of who your target is. Oh, because you are, are threatened, but as it were. Also, if Fritz is perched on Buck's shoulder, that's still ten feet above. That's what I was gonna say. That's yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, that's what I was him. asking Ooh. about. Also, okay. it's because we're on a two D map, unfortunately, so we can't depict the fact that you yeah. are elevated. Yeah. That's just why I was asking. All right, I'm gonna yes. shoot this one that looks half dead and then do my second shot at the one behind. All right, do, show do, 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 me the shot. Pew. Oh wait, the shot. We, we don't have to do it disadvantage anymore yep, now, right? Yep, you don't. Cool. Okay, okay, yes, cool. the one that is nearly dead now, uh, one more bolt is going to make it dissipate and lose its form and turn into a <laughs> soft sludge. Okay. Soft sludge. Pew. Soft sludge. Ooh, and that second, oh, that's a pretty good shot as well. You do the same, a single shot, all it takes, lights it, a flame of it, and it produces. Awesome. I am Ooh. going to stay up here. This seems safe. <laughs> I am ending my turn. <laughs> Next is the Blot's turn. They continue to ignore the rest of the party and focus on Lyra. Let's go. So no. they're going to come over here, and they're going to continue kind of throwing their kind of liquidy tendrils and slapping about and bashing. Hold on, this one is... Uh, doo -doo -doo, there we go. And bashing with all their might. And... S Let's see. Okay, Lara, you're going to take four more attacks. Okay, my current AC is 11, so I don't yes, know if that makes any you're of back okay. to... Yeah, I've taken that into account. I have your character sheets and little thingies on my <gasps> desk, so I can always you know. You know all my secrets. I, know, I can always know your spell save DCs and AC. <laughs> and passive perceptions. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> You're going to take another 16 force damage as they are bashing and slapping and <laughs> overwhelming okay. you. But that is their turn. They are on a one-track mind. Oh, cool. Okay. Now it's your turn. Uh, well, that wasn't my favorite. Um, all right. I'm going to... I'm all out of first level spell slots, so I'm going to cast Moonbeam, and I'm mm. going to put it here. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Boop. Um... So that nice. is, sorry, let me just uh, actually check what it does. Um, 
when a creature enters the spells area for the first time or a tur and a turn or starts its turn there, uh, must make a constitution saving throw, uh, DC 14. Um, uh, let's see. It takes 2d10 radiant damage on a failed save, half as much damage on a successful one. Uh, if these things count as shape changers, they it would be reveals, making those saves yeah. with disadvantage. And it would um, reveal their illusion as well, correct? Yeah, oh, that would be pretty cool. Um, anyway, yes, so that's just going to stay up as long as I hold concentration. Yeah, well, all of them but fail, doesn't <laughs> and oh. they're all dead as this moonbeam peeks through oh. this rocky ceiling and just blasts them. They splatter into little puddles of black goop. Great. Awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, once again, I'm all out of useful bonus actions, and I don't really want to take a smack from one of those guys, so I'm going to stay on the throne. <laughs> Buck. Buck going to try and buck hurt these uh, two people, but I'll attack, uh, I'll attack recklessly, which I guess is advantage, so I'll do the yeah, first one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. 29. Yep. Whichever one, it doesn't matter. They they would die. Both of them are pretty low enough. Bang. Boosh. D number attack two. Oh. Number attack uh, number attack two God. takes care of the last of the blot. Well done. You've saved your Ooh. friend. You've gotten rid of these blot stragglers. The encounter is okay. over. Oh, I phase boy. Phase back out and saddle <laughs> up next to Lyra. Uh, Lyra. You I can climb back. higher up on the throne than me to assert dominance. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like scooch next to you, and I'm like, you know... And I'm actually realizing now that there's no kingdom where the king and queen sit next to each other on like a love seat or something. I wonder why that is. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna it's pick up some little dragon bits <laughs> from the. Oh. Did I drop those? <laughs> I don't up. think so. Unless you recently changed color. Oh, what color are they? Uh, they seem to be of a white dragonborn. Or, or not, not, dra huh. not dragonborn, white scales, rather. I, I should be clear. Okay. A scales of a white dragon. Here they are once again. Hmm. Yes, hmm. I will take two of the fragments. Ah, I see. All right. Yeah, I'd like to grab a couple, too, just to look at later. Yes. Do I? Uh, you may have answered this previously, Joe, but I want to look at the symbol and see if I recognize it at all. Actually, I did not uh, explain it, as no one has taken uh, a particular note, aside from... Uh, scribbling all over scribbling it. Scribbling and I making take... a very beautiful drawing, of course. <laughs> I, I will take particular note of it, and if I remember Give me a history check. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, oh. with a seven, you've probably <laughs> seen... And with a negative one, I would have taken your passive as well, but a negative one is like, you wouldn't know anything, so a roll maybe would have give, given you more, but with a seven, it's something you may have seen in a history book once or twice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like a water drop with an eyeball on the bottom. Well, if I don't recognize this, I'm gonna look around. Or maybe like a really red leaf. We've got a couple more ghosts in here if we want to go and take a couple psychic hits and see what they have to say. I'm excited. Actually, no, this is very comfortable. Uh, that's empty. Lyra, how are you doing on health? Uh, I'm, I'm all right. I had a lot of various forms of okay. temp HP, so I'm down to, I'm like less than a third, but I'm not in single digits I'll yet. I'll go take the psychic damage. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Fritz, you're gonna go Here, up to the ghost I... then? Oh, yeah. Is that something you want me to ask in particular? I, they just I think you kind just of... see the... Yeah, yeah, you see the vision. Yeah. What color is your other You can way? give me a wisdom saving throw, <laughs> Fritz. What is your favorite color? Okay. <laughs> what is your quest? <laughs> Yellow. Okay. Wow. The ghost fades into you, and you're able to stave off the psychic damage, luckily. Wait, okay. who's this? It didn't even, I didn't oh, even get Oh, that's another blot that I just didn't take care of. Whoops. <laughs> I, I forgot to oh. add to <laughs> the A sneaky little oh, straggler <laughs> dissolving in shame. They sure. weren't exactly interested in talking. Uh, oh, no, I, did. I was, I was uh, oh. taking care of oh. another thing. So you, uh, you take in that ghost and you see a vision, actually. You see through the eyes of what seems to be some kind of humanoid walking around. You seem to have a child in tow, hand in hand, walking. Oh, God. You see the life tree, Quarencia, just as you remember it. However, you see its roots sprouting up. You see the people around you being transformed into 
something, but the vision is blurred. You can't see what they're being transformed into. And the vision fades. Oh, I guess. Great. Very promising. <laughs> uh, can I give Lyra a donut? Ooh. A gladiator donut? A gladiator's donut. Yeah. yeah. No, I just an adi- <laughs> just a general a normal yeah, donut. I'll, yeah. Yeah, I'll give her, still give her a gladiator's have... donut. I forget what it does. Uh, you... It does 1d6 temp HP. Mm-hmm. I appreciate oh, cool. that. For reasons unknown to me, my inventory says I currently have four gladiator donuts. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Maybe I'll just eat one of mine. I've got two. Okay, all right. All right <laughs> Thank all right, all right. you. I have Let me just really roll a d6 here. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, nice. That's not bad. No, not at all. <laughs> all right. We got one more ghost left if we want to snag that. Uh, hey. I'm, I'm done being king for the uh, day. I'll, I'll take it off. You want to go? Yeah, you go. <laughs> you got it. You got it. I think I'm done with this. Walking over there, my feet slapping the pavement. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Word. Give How me a wisdom save. Noise? Uh, the saving throw is different, right? It's not it's, a disadvantage. Yeah, it's not a disadvantage, luckily. Okay. Oh. You, the the ghost kind of seeps into you. Unfortunately, it's a bit too much for you, and you're going to take three psychic damage. Oh. And you do, but you do still see the vision. As you can see, a battle between two armies, clad in armor, fighting it out. Swords clashing, hammers swinging, artillery being fired into buildings. One with the sigil, the same sigil that you see on the carpet floor here, uh, on the rug okay. here, and the other army, the sigil of Alinthi, the tr- the life tree. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So there was a little war. You know, people with the, the this thing fought the people that are, are the good guys and. Uh, uh, just look around and kind of obviously gesture. I think they lost. Mm. If anyone wants as well, uh, anyone who wishes to, aside from Buck, because he had his try. Yeah, I'll, I'll make it. Yeah, you can make a history check of what's on the ground. On the yeah, that tasty yeah, plus try. one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Dang. Right in the middle of the bell curve, baby. No lore drop for you. <laughs> oh, no. we're all nah. dumb. No, our only hope. <laughs> You didn't do your history. I don't know how to read. I was too busy not studying. Uh, <laughs> so what you, you do this know... this is nerd quest? Sorry, what God. you do know is... Uh, what you know from history is what's known as the Old World, as they refer to these runes as the Old World runes that was here before Alinthi. Uh The ruins had advanced mystical artifacts that were left behind, uh, and they had crumbled long before Alinthi was founded. And so that they, doesn't sound accurate. They to what did. We just they did saw. fight the blot as well. They likely were wiped out, just like Diosia after them. What's not making sense to me is that I thought these were gone before Alinthi was founded. But you're saying that they fought a war with Alinthi? Oh yeah. Wait. Um. Well, they had like the sigil of the tree, so maybe they brought the tree. Or, uh, I, I have no idea. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> that's all I saw. They the fought, roots of the life tree are in this room, withered and dead. Mm-hmm. It seems we have evidence to corroborate your vision. In the, that's I good, because <laughs> that's the, what I saw. The kingdom of Olympia was founded around Corencia. It's not as if they would use that as a symbol and fight a war against... I mean, if they were using that as a symbol, Alinthi must have already been established by the time they fought that war. Or at least some big... You don't just... You need a kingdom to make an army. You don't just get an army out of nowhere. The ghost on the throne said, Curse you, Alinthi. Vengeance, and Alinthi will fall. So... I What's thought... the difference between Alinthi and Corencia? Is Alinthi the nation? Alinthi is the nation, Corencia is the tree. Oh, not the continent? No, uh, the continent name, I forget what it is, but it's not important. Okay, cool. So, and that another thing that's concerning to me is these dragon scales. I mean, yes. how, the, I thought that the dragons were supposed to be guardians of Carencia, and did, did these people have their own dragons, or... 
did a dragon get fought here? I, I just don't understand. Well, I guess simple question. Does it look like there are any holes in the room large enough for a dragon to have entered or exited through? Uh, well, they could turn small or large depending on... You do like note that there rooms. has uh, there's debris of a broken down kind of spiral staircase, not of use anymore since it's, you know, completely mm. ruined, but it's humanoid size. Something of medium size like Lyra or Buck in his normal form could fit there. But in a dra like someone of a dragon size, probably not. I I'm gonna measure like I'm gonna hold up one of the scales to mine. Are they like stupid? <laughs> They're big? stupid big. They're way bigger. Okay, can I use it as a shield? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If you can get it repaired, I'll say yes. Okay. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> Too wide shield size draconic. Okay. <laughs> so I remember what I got them for. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well. We're not going to solve it here, and we've absorbed all of the ghosts. Um, I don't... I think what we said last time is I'm unable to turn off the largeness. Can we <laughs> yeah. leave this place, please? It, it lasts for, like... Well, how far... How I think it was like two like hours. Use big blind. It was one, <laughs> like, it was one think, D4 hours, and you rolled two. I thought I... I thought I got like four hours. Maybe. I thought it was like one D two plus one. I thought it was one D four plus one, and I think I got like three. I'll say I don't recall it was specific. A we'll, we'll I mean, Buck climbed <laughs> down the hole. We can probably climb back up the hole. Yes, it we is within reach of rest. Buck to if he like jumped really high, he could probably grab on to the ledge and pull himself up. Use big blind. I'll it? say for convenience sake and uh, for plot pacing, once you leave <laughs> the ruins, you'll transform back into normal size. Okay. Okay. Would it make sense for us to take a quick short rest then? If you want. Leave, just in case. Mm, yeah, I don't know if we I want to take a short this. rest in the spooky slime right, dungeon. Yeah. Let's get out of here. All right, everybody climb on. All right, <laughs> let's form Fritz Buckwood Lyra. Uh, <laughs> it's actually Lyra it, Fritz Buckward. <laughs> I don't fit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then you uh, don't get to come along. You don't get to be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> Fritz uh, Buckward I will... featuring Lyra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lyra. special guest star. <laughs> featuring Lyra. I'm the sixth ranger. Uh, I'll climb out. I will. So as you're climbing out, I'm going to say to simplify the exiting process, uh, I'm going to request a survival check from one of you to see how easily and how well you're able to retrace your steps back and exit the cave. All right. Does anyone actually have like proficiency in this, or is I it just a, being my plus three? I have a, I have a yeah, I, I only have a plus two. You know what? I've got a plus three, and I come from caves, so I that think we would sense. realistically want right. to try and do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm lost. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't know where we I'm are. I'm going to be nice and say, since you come from caves, I'll give you advantage. <laughs> okay. Come on, roll two, <laughs> baby. Poison. No, well, it's oh, a no, survival check, not check. an ability yeah, check. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, with a nine. Okay. Oh, <laughs> even better. I'm lost. I promise. I don't know where I am. All right. I don't recognize so this. So uh, as you're struggling to sure. exit, uh, unfortunately, it it's kind of leaves you desperate in trying to leave. So your backtracking takes so much of your attention and time that you only have enough time and attention to spend doing one thing before you exit. What do you want to do before you exit? Whether it be scavenging Ooh. for whatever loot that may be Ooh. remaining or taking one last look at some part of the cave that you may have traversed before, you have one chance, but the rest of your attention needs to be spent on leaving the cave, lest you be trapped here forever. I feel oh. like if we could see any sign of the crystal core that we were told was here, if we could like glance around for that, but I'm not gonna push the oh, issue. No, I've got it in my pocket. No, no, that one okay. wasn't, it doesn't line up with how Sergei described it. Um, okay. It was supposed to be this yeah. thing of tremendous power and this is like a normal busted one. Mm -hmm. um, are we sure that he has actually like seen it, or did he just guess? Well, he did lose he a party a, in here, so I, I think he made a very educated guess. He seems. I suppose we'll educated. find out when we get out of here. He did seem the educated type. So, is everyone in agreement in double checking, or do you want to do something else? Yeah, that's fine. I'm looking for money. Money. So, is that in the same camp as <laughs> look around for something shiny and potentially worth things? Yeah, essentially. It's <laughs> all perception. I'll help Lara look for the... I'll help you. The, well, you only have, know, with a nine shiny. survival, I'm limiting it to one thing, not multitasking. Okay. Right. I'll help myself get lost. No. I'll go get some water, I'll be right back. Okay. I, think we're, I, think we're, I think we're in agreement to uh, look for the, the double check to make sure we didn't miss the... Okay. The, I will say, 
double checking, scouring every last little inch of that construct, what with uh, just feeling it out and checking around its uh, old massive hulking body. You find a few wires, you know, it seems as though something that was built more like a construct rather than an actual, like, living uh, kind of semi-organic thing like the other Warforged that you've met. But otherwise, mm. no, there's nothing that you have missed aside from just a piece, a few pieces of debris, circuitry, wires, such like that. But that is about all the attention that you are able to give before you focus the rest of it on escaping the cave. Right. And you do. Congratulations. Yay. You've Oh god, I forgot all the things we, we did survived. This map. Old world ruins. <clears throat> So, as you exit, and it takes you some time, Buck, you are going to transform back down into your normal size yet again. Yay, I'm changing. <laughs> I'm changing. My, I'm my strength modifier and change it all back. Okay. Cool. Oh, boy. Now, back to Politrios. Ooh, the fun music. As you head back towards Politrios, approaching closer to the city, you actually spot Sergi, uh, who seems to be having, uh, off in the distance, some playful roughhousing with Mikkel, the young orcish boy you met the other day. Kind of off in the oh. distance. Let me put their portraits I'm, on I'm the I'm back. Screen. You guys almost left me behind. No! <laughs> oh, no. Did totally I, did didn't I miss anything. Totally didn't uh, mean to do that. We failed to find anything interesting, and then we had to escape okay, the awesome. cave. Uh, yeah. Where is Sergei? <laughs> Uh, <coughs> alphabetical order. There he is. Yep. So you can see that the two are just kind of roughhousing and playing right outside of the walls, perhaps waiting for your return. And when Sergei notices you coming, uh, his arm extends out uh, to lift <laughs> Mikkel by his leg, kind of holding him upside down in the air. And then uh, he kind of walks on over to you while holding. And Mik Mikkel is kind of giggling <laughs> with his arms hanging downwards. Oh. Hey, pilgrims! Lots just leaves. Thank goodness you're safe. If you hadn't come back by nightfall, not even Lord Euphrasia would have stopped me from coming to get you. Oh. <laughs> That's oh, very sweet. sweet of you. I don't think we could have made it out of there if it wasn't for the help of my schizophrenic hallucination friend, Nonstop Begonias. <laughs> oh. That's a lovely word. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all I had to say. <laughs> <laughs> the construct did not yield the results we were hoping for. Oh. He puts Mikkel back on the ground. Damn. Are you sure? <laughs> Rather sure. Yeah, I'll give him the um, heart of the construct and the metal panel. Hmm. Wow. With the, ba the Bastan symbol. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, my theory was wrong. This is just a basic soul crystal. Actually, it's not even that. This is used for basic automatons. No wonder that thing didn't wake up after so long. It's just a dummy following simple commands. Can I hold on to it then? Yeah, you can have it. That thing's junk to me. And you can have this fancy metal panel with the symbol of uh, the liz lizard lady from... Do you guys remember? Vaguely. Med hand. His little uh, eyebrows yeah. raise up. That is the symbol of House Bastan. You found yeah, this, this on... Like... You found this on that Warforged? Yeah, it was like the panel covering his heart or something. Oh, well, House Bastan has only been around for a couple of decades. That Warforge must not be as old as I thought it was. There were several odd elements of the cave that we explored. The upper areas had false corpses of smaller Warforged arranged to look as though they had been there for a long time. Hmm. I guess that would track. Sounds like someone's trying to How? deceive us. <laughs> oh, yes. But to what end? And who? Aside from and House why? Best End in the abstract. Um. Can I hand him over the decrepit root that I took from inside? You most certainly can. Uh, mm. whilst we were in there, the entire place was filled with this dead root. He takes it, and you can see that he brings down his goggles, and they zoom in just yes. real far, like almost touching, maybe an atom away from touching the root. <laughs> well, this is certainly very familiar. This is, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you pulled this from Quarency itself, which is highly illegal, I'll have you know. I, I can assure oh. you I did not. Uh... No, I believe you. I know you wouldn't do that, which makes us all the more perplexing. 
And this was just like that? Dead in there? All of the tons loops in there of it dead. everywhere, yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, do, do you do you have like a writing utensil? I'd imagine a guy like you has. Oh to. yeah, always keep a notepad with me. There you go. And he hands you a All notepad right. and a pen. Uh, I want to roll maybe performance check to try <laughs> and replicate the symbol that we saw down there. Yes. <laughs> All right. Carpet. Give me that performance check. Ah, oh, pretty hey. good. Right. You draw it pretty well. My lines my lines aren't very straight, but uh, we saw this down there. Have you seen this, you old coot? Oh, that's the kingdom of Deosia. Deosia. Now? Deosia was a land ruled to the southwest of Alinthi a couple of hundred years ago. Uh, it attempted to conquer many lands, including Alinthi, and destroyed itself fighting the blot. That's uh, not actually factual. Well, and, uh, the word is going to look around like to see if anyone is eavesdropping or nearby. What area are we in? Uh, you are kind of like somewhat outside the walls. I can't quite show you on the map, but kind of like to the southwest, kind of in this way. Okay, but it, it seems like we're relatively hidden. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. There's not a lot my, of people pass- nearby. Okay, my passive is 16, so if I don't see anyone, I'll kind of lean in, lower my voice. They, uh, they fought, you know, actually people from Alinthi. They didn't fight the blood. We saw it with our own eyes. Or I did. Well, I... And I only lie when I want to. This is not something I would lie about. Well, that does track a a little bit, I guess. There there have been some Theosian leftovers that have tried to still conquer Alinthi, so fighting would happen. The ruins were full of strange psychic emanations of people who clearly died a very long time ago. Many of them had memories, flashes of visions that corroborate what Word is saying. In fact, it seemed that the roots burst through at the same time that whatever cataclysm occurred there struck. Hmm. You see Sergei is looking around as well. And uh, yeah, there's like houses down there. At this, he narrows his little Warforgy eyebrows. And he looks around, kind of pulls Mikkel close to him and kind of closes his ears with his, with his hand. Mm. I don't know what's going on here, pilgrims. But I think it best that maybe you keep these to your, this information to yourself. There's a lot of prying eyes around here, and a lot more prying eyes are going to be in Trevisetta. I'll go try and look into this, and give you information as best I can. But, against my better judgment, I think it's best we don't, you know, announce this all over the place. This could have grave implications about the kingdom. Yeah, this, this is going to be like a dragon to dragon chatter. Mm. This is very concerning, though. I'll see what strings I can pull to maybe... Check out Aguna's libraries. They got the best stuff about history of Alinthi. Yes, In the I, meantime, I was hoping to do the same. I, I hold up grabby hands. We have earned your heart. <laughs> <laughs> he, he Doing ch- the uppies motion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uppies. Right. Hmm. Well, you did earn it. And he reaches into his pack. do 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 and he pulls out the same wrench that he mentioned before that was go- that he was going to use to detect the magic. You know, oh. this wand ain't actually mine. It was built by a friend, Goliath, with an oddly gentle touch. His name was Viglin. It was one of the ones with me when I last went into the ruins. I, oh. I was hoping that, uh, that that losing him wouldn't have been in vain. And uh, I let a- made a lot of mistakes, accidents, but usually most of the time, they're things I can fix. But... Figlin, I can't really fix that. This was my last chance to at least make up for it. But seeing as there's no soul crystal, I guess this thing's utility ain't gonna be as big of a help as I was planning. But hey, at least you could still use it. And he is going to Ooh. hand you Sergei's heart. That's a little so wrench. so sad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So are we actually stockpiling all this with Lyra? Because like, what if Lyra gets kidnapped or something? Yeah, I, the more of these that we either. I, I just, I'm starting to think that after you want to start splitting? literally all of the blot attacked Lyra, that maybe we should split these up amongst us. I mean, we're not all intended to go our separate ways, right? Like we're gonna no, stay together. No, of course together. not. I'll hold on to Sergey's. Uh, what, what if we hid them in each kingdom? No. Mm. I'll hold on to Sergei's <laughs> heart. <laughs> uh, do you want to hand me yes. one? Push come to shove, I can bolt. Let me 
Yeah, that's my inventory. Yes. So we've got the three of them now. All right. Yeah. Uh, then I will give uh, Cecilia's heart to um, uh, Fritz. Uh, I'll just put it in the chat. Uh, yeah, it is in your uh, in the journal here. I can pull it up. Uh, Cecilia's heart is the the handkerchief from. Oh yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. The Hold on. We soft shores. Have the name. Rama's end. Yeah. Yeah. Not uh, anymore. Soft shores. Yeah. From Rama himself. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, I forgot that he. Rama. All right, let me just delete Rama. this bad boy from my thing. Hmm. <sighs> Well, I'm bleeding. Uh, yeah, me too. We like from I, my brain. I'm sure we can check in with you before we before we decide to head out, um, which I guess we're planning to do. I'm sorry. Quick question. Uh, the library he mentioned. Um, I think it's the one Aguna, in the north, Aguna, which like is the, Aguna, the, yeah. the northernmost city. Okay, so that's not anywhere around here. No. No, no really. it's oh. it's in fact it's on the opposite side of Olympia. Great, awesome. <laughs> our, I think our next one's going to be the shittiest one. <laughs> oh, mm. what do you mean? We got to go to Trevisetta. Trevisetta is great. Trevisetta is great. I just know that we're going to leave with one of the buildings on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Several times we have isn't, really shit on Trevisetta <laughs> throughout the course my, of this game. Wait, wait, isn't Laguna where you said Fritz's mom is? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It is. Ooh, oh fuck. boy. Yeah, let's, let's delay let's that as much as possible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. We can, like, I mean, we've got the heart. We do mm-hmm. not have to go to Trevisetta right now. So maybe it, it'd be in our best interest to go back to the copper, what was the name of it? The bronze saloon? Bronze saloon? Mm-hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. That's it. Is that the one with the person who yes, speak? Yes, the, the bronze the saloon. Fire, so. the, the yeah, fire genasi. That's the one. Well, Norium. Norium. We wanna, oh, so we like deciding to leave town? Well, we uh, got the heart, tomorrow? but I think yeah, we just need to do right. research in a different town. I, just, some... I, I, I think we might. I, this is my suggestion. I think maybe given that we're so close to what was the? I'm sorry, I didn't write it down. The name of the older. Oh, uh, Diosia. Diosia. I just want to write that down. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. I think because we're closer to Diosia. That's the name of the like forgotten. Is it T H or D H? You done uh, there? Is it D here? Uh, Diosia. There we go. Aha! I got it right. And that's I, where another dragon is. No. No, yeah. Diosia is the kingdom that was destroyed. That uh, we were. Yes. The, they are the ones okay. with the teardrop emblem that we saw. Gotcha. Here, gotcha. let me show you Be- the map so that you can Ooh. get your bearings. Whoa! Aha. Yeah, old Diosia. Old Diosia. Yep, there it is. Oh, where's that? It's like down uh, bottom west. left. Yeah, yeah near. <laughs> the old west. <laughs> Sergey, hearing you and your plans to perhaps investigate. That, that might be a good idea, but do be wary. That place is infested with blot. Right. Um, Highest concentration in the entire continent, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, nah, um, maybe not. I think maybe we should talk uh, a little privately, just have like a private conversation. Oh, sure. No offense, Sergey. Uh, no, none taken. No offense. You got I'm, your own business yeah. to do. If you want to no, find Sergei, me, I did have a. Yeah. I, I well, we all seem to be bre- breezing over the fact that oh, this dungeon Whoa. that we just explored was artificially uh, made up to look a certain way to lead us to believing that there were great treasures in there, warforged with soul crystals that we could use. Someone must have been here to do that. And we already know that the, oh God, I'm forgetting all the people, the Baztans must have had some part in it. I mean, that symbol did not just come out of nowhere. Do we know what they do, what like the, what their business is? They oh. run a, um, uh, I think it's it's essentially like mercenaries, if, if memory serves. They do serves. seem to be in the business of war, so... Yeah, that's what uh, they claim they do, but me, I think they're just a bunch of cutthroats out for their coin purse. But what are you going to do? Trevisetta going to Trevisetta. But yes, you're right. <laughs> is, is that a saying in this universe? <laughs> Everywhere but Trevisetta. Uh, Trevisetta, Trevisetta going to Trevisetta. You know how they do. <laughs> Someone in Trevisetta, in Trevisetta sells Trevisetta. that on a shirt. I got quite a few questions for <laughs> Lord <laughs> Euphrasia myself. Trev- I feel, I feel the, the need world. to confront her about this. And if you yeah. if you would want to come along, you're free to. 
but I'll promise it's not going to be pretty. Do you think she knew something about this? I'm sure she might be hiding something. She's constantly discouraging me from going in there all the time. And seeing as I've got a lot of investigative gear and stuff that allows me to see things that most people can't, I can see why now. Yes, I think perhaps this is a worthwhile avenue of inquiry. But, like I said, you're free to wait outside. It's gonna be ugly. Uh, I think it's best that we... My bones and brain hurt. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> when do you think you're gonna be talking to Lord Euphrasia? Hmm, preferably soon, but if you need to rest, no need to wait for me. I'd rather get this out of the way sooner rather than later. All right. Oh boy. All right. And you can see Mikkel, like, as you're about to head into the city, Mikkel stops and crosses his arms and just kind of uh, pouts a bit and looks at Fritz. <clears throat> <laughs> there you are. I don't forget about you. Well? Uh, guys, do you want to go ahead or do you mind waiting 15 <laughs> minutes? <laughs> uh, I'm... I can go and accompany Sergei on this. I don't think I'll, we need everybody. I'll catch up. I'll go with you. I'll be quiet. <laughs> I, I'll catch okay. up with you guys. I, I, I don't want us to... Can I just sit and walk, babysit... No, no offense, Fritz. Babysit <laughs> you two because now that we are, have each have two hearts, or now that... I don't want the hearts to be complete, completely separated. So I'll stay oh. with Fritz. I'll, 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 we'll, we'll catch up with you. Excellent. I don't what? want Fritz... Because Fritz has a heart now, right? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Fritz has a okay. serious yeah. heart. I have Elias's. Okay. Yes. And I have and I have uh Sergius. Sergius. I, I I'm gonna stay with Fritz then just to just in case. Great. Perfect time to split you. the party. I don't trust we just decided we weren't gonna do this after I asked, so I, I'm sorry, I don't the trust Joe. To, <laughs> the last thing I need is for Fritz to be attacked with this child while we're somewhere yeah. else, while we're all damaged. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna stay with I Fritz. Promised. That's okay. I'm I I don't mind me. I'm going to be over here in the corner. So I'm going to be over here. So how do you wish to entertain the child? <laughs> how heavy is the child? Uh, he's oh, not no. that heavy. He's about like uh, 50 pounds, 40 pounds, oh, something like that. Okay. Lightweight little boy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my poncho off and kind of put it over the top of him. Ooh. And I'm going to grab him by both shoulders and start flight. Oh, start flying. Okay. Give me a choice of... Uh, Acrobatics or performance? Acrobatics. Oh, oh that's athletics. Sorry, that's athletics. I okay, that okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, my acrobatics is this. Ah, oh. yeah. plus six. So you fly and you try to keep your balance. Uh, it's not often that you have, uh, you know, someone on your shoulders, is it? No, I'm grabbing him by the shoulders. Oh, you're grabbing him by the shoulders. I put my poncho okay. on to keep him mm -hmm. safe. He's not a shape like that uh, you're used to, as you're used to carrying word, yeah. and this one is more humanoid than, than lizardoid or whatever word you want to describe word as. A bit more slippy. <laughs> he's a little slippy, so you try and keep your balance and have a sla safe flight, but you can see he's clearly bored. What? Come on, okay, let's I'll do a flip or something. I... Mm. <laughs> if I fall, I can just go in the water. I can swim. <laughs> oh no, he thinks that landing in five feet of water will <laughs> negate fall damage. Do I know how deep this water is? Uh, the, the water, like, towards here is pretty deep. It's a big reservoir. Uh, it's like our... And uh, even the river as well, these uh, little <sighs> canals, they're pretty deep. You know what? Fritz is irresponsible. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see. Slightly better. Oh, no. I I'm help. not. I'm going to. No, he said he asked for a flip. I'm doing it. Okay. You tried to do a flip. Unfortunately, you didn't quite see where you were going. And you just kind of run a little bit yourself into one of the taller structures and bump and spin <sighs> a little bit out of control and land on kind of uh, on the walkway above the water near Buck. As you know, as he's sitting and watching, and you take three bludgeoning damage from the fall, and but while you were spinning I... and falling like a like a downed helicopter, you do hear the elations of Mikhail going woo 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 woo. Okay, can I? 
do anything to try to make sure I no. catch him or he doesn't fall? No, don't I, worry. I don't he's he's fine. I would assume that you are attempting to keep this child safe, which yeah. is why you took all the damage yourself, which is three How bludgeoning much did damage. How take again? Three. three. Okay. Okay, we're just going to land. And I'm just going to get up. Like, and he thrusts both uh, his hands in the air and like, like <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> Yeah, come on, Fritz, again. Okay, <laughs> we go again. Do it a, do it a second time. <laughs> and while... Okay. okay, that one is going to be a little <laughs> bit safer as you do, a little bit more soaring and sightseeing. And it's Incredible. a nice time. It's been a hot minute since I've flied like this. <laughs> Meanwhile, word, Lara and Sergey, you guys head to the Lord's offices. Mm -hmm. And... Once you enter Euphrasia's office, you find her pacing back and forth, rearranging some documents around while seemingly talking to herself. Uh, you'd guess she's on a sending phone with someone. Uh, and she notices you enter, and she says, I'll speak with you later, and waves the incantation away. What is it, Pilgrim, Sergey? I'm very busy. Uh, <clears throat> I, I think Sergey probably could put this best. <laughs> Are we going to make Joe talk to himself? <laughs> yeah, we are. We might. Hold <laughs> on. Oh, let, me, let me find Lord I Euphrasia. I was going to be quiet. There we go. I'll speak up if Joe starts to irritate Joe. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to yeah, say... Negotiations Joe's side. between Joe's breakdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you see Sergey kind of explain the story, and I assume you guys pipe in with your side as well. And Euphrasia yeah, just sits there attentively listening and taking in... Uh, kind of every word and she just kind of like waves her hand and shakes her head well that's unfortunate I know the frustrations of spending lots of effort focusing on something only for it to be a total waste of time but these are some grave accusations you're making are you sure that's all what you saw these aren't just accusations I think that they are valid uh, truths I don't know a better way to put it but this is we're not making this up. We retrieved the sigil of House Bastan from the Warforge that we were battling, which in fact turned out to simply be an automaton attempting to pass as a Warforged, something which I think has much direr implications than you seem to be treating the situation as. Hmm, that may be true, but tell me this, Pilgrims. Have you run into Miss Bastan in your previous travels? We have, and I pull out one of my two... Uh, hold on, I have it written down in my <laughs> Uh, eyelashes in amber. <laughs> we caught her sneaking around trying to mess with the little settlement a bit to the, the west, to the east. Hmm. And tell me, pilgrims, what is your perception of Trevisetta? How do you feel about that province? Uh, probably the same as you. I highly doubt that. Can I roll that. perception? <laughs> 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 Just to get her gauge first. Can I do that? Um... She give me a persuasion actually okay. on that. Okay, okay. Ouch. Uh, Come on, bud. No. Uh, she's not buying What's it. What's happening to us? Nope. Today is, is not the day of rolls. She is not mm. buying it. We're still poisoned. Well, if you did know my perception of Trevisetta, you would know that we have a very delicate but positive relationship with them, and I'm trying to keep it that way. How do I yeah, know, maybe. considering you have a bias against them, you have full incentive Ooh. to forge that piece of scrap metal you have? Am I not wrong? How do I know you didn't carve that you yourself? Are, you are immensely no incorrect. <laughs> we don't have any predisposition to not like them. We only set out and met people from there recently, and they've been doing crazy bad shit trying to mess with people and steal things and take stuff over, and it seems like maybe... They're trying to do something along that same line here. Yes, I know that when I am sent into a dungeon at risk of my own life and limb under false pretenses and denied the assistance of the most powerful ally who volunteered his help, by you no less, the first thing I think is that I would frame someone I've met once who was cleanly arrested after Ooh. her crime was proven. Get Obviously off. that makes perfect sense, Lord Euphrasia. Go off, Layra. <sighs> like I am so tired. Lord Euphrasia just gets, just kind of stands, crosses her arms. I can see you're getting very emotional about this. I think it's time that you leave. I, I give her the coldest look possible. <laughs> Maybe we will. 
Well, good luck with whoever's snooping around in your dungeons. Killing your adventurers. Uh, Sergey. Does he... Is his face giving any sort of input? I know he's a construct. Yeah, like, is his eyebrow doing anything the body interesting? Language, the body language, You can maybe. see that he is, like, looking very sternly at Lord Euphrasia. And well, hopefully the next person who dies in that dungeon has somebody who is less vengeful. And hopefully the next person in office here is competent. Come right, on, word. let's get the fuck out of here. Yes. As you do leave, and uh, you see that Sergey is kind of nodding his head at all you're saying. <laughs> Lord Euphrasia, these pilgrims, they risked their lives going into one of the most dangerous parts of Alinthi, came out barely breathing, and you have the nerve to dismiss their experiences and some sort of thrill-seeking? I mean, this is the... I mean this in the utmost respect, Lord. But what you're saying is straight baloney. <laughs> you deny me assisting them, you scoff at their attempts, and when they present you with some real tangible findings, you dismiss them. If you ever look for, if you ever took the initiative to get up and get out of your office for once, maybe you'd learn, really learn a thing or two about the people in this kingdom you so proudly claim to run. But I guess that sort of work just ain't good enough for you. These pilgrims did what I ain't seen you do in a hundred years I've been in the desert, and they took a risk. Lord Euphrasia, I'm sorry, but they're right. And he goes along with you. Euphrasia simply stands there, seemingly happy that you're leaving, and goes back to speaking mm. in her sending. And I wild you, shapes or I'd stay at <laughs> eavesdrop. <laughs> no. You are you are older than her. You've basically built this place. Is there any way you can you know, shoehorn someone else in who maybe actually cares about this place that you've built? Uh, probably, but checks and balances being what they are, they try to separate the political power of most dragons. It'd be really dangerous if we could run the place and also had the most powers, you know, maybe wreak havoc if we wanted to and things didn't go our way. It seems like you're more aware of that than she is. Perhaps. Uh, All I can do is hope for the know. next election to put someone in that's got a little bit more initiative, you know? Sorry you had to I put advise, up with that, Pilgrims. Everything you said was completely true. I'd advise putting some form of protection or guard over the dungeon entrance. I don't know why someone would do what they did there, but the last thing we need is more interference or more people finding what's down there. That's definitely some kind of cover-up, but to what end? Like, what, what do they gain from hiding actual recent history? Yeah, I'll look into this, and I'll only keep my closest advisors, some people that I really trust. Thanks for revealing this I to just, me, pilgrims. It's been a genuine pleasure spending time with you. Uh, likewise. Yes. Say. I just... As thanks for going to the ruins at my behest, why don't, I do you, why don't I do you a favor in return? What sort of favor? See, you're going to Trevisetta, yeah. right? That's your next stop? Yeah. <laughs> yes, theoretically. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, I started construction plans on a railroad to connect all of Alinthi about a decade ago. Even gave the train the best kind of whistle, yeah. too. We got a track leading up to uh, Tigamura, at the uh, at the very least. Would have done more if it weren't for Lord Nicholas. Something about violating zoning laws and being a threat to the delicate economical structure of Trevisetta or something. Even Lord Euphrasia mm -hmm. was eaten up. But I say it's hogwash. Getting the railroad up and running would be good for everyone in Alinthi. And I think you being the first passengers is a fitting way to proof of concept. Do I get to toot the horn? The I'd be sad it. if you didn't. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Me too. Oh, and you don't need to worry oh. about your cart. We'll make sure that its cargo stored, stored up away in the train. And give those horses of yours a nice dedicated cart to rest their legs as well. Yeah. That sounds excellent. The train you drew is now you. canonical. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at it. <laughs> it knew. <laughs> I'm sure you know as well as I do, Lara, that people who write history are the last people you trust. Yes, I'm starting to find that out as well. Whatever this implies, I plan to get to the bottom of it, as I know you do too. But until then, tomorrow, whenever you're ready, meet me at the station. We just might be back here once we're done with our pilgrimage. Yes, and um, stay safe. Then, I'm so tired. I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> My gut still hurt from when I ate that egg. I really wish this poison would wear off faster. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you get some rest. I'll make sure some of the apothecaries maybe give you a, a warming gift. Oh, oh yeah. We, <laughs> we gotta go visit them. Oh, yes. Oh, no worries. I'll make sure they bring it to the inn. You go rest up. Thank you. That's the plan. You're very kind. And we scuttle and skedaddle. You scuttle yeah, and skedaddle. Go. And you let's meet Fritz and Buck on the way as well. Hmm. Uh, I'm still going. Presumably <laughs> exhausted playing with this <laughs> ball of energy of, a, of an orcish boy. <laughs> well, was the last 20 minutes a good time for you guys? Because uh, I have some ex expletives to, to whisper into my pillow. I never want to fly again. <laughs> oh, no. It's been a good day. How did um how did sending our two <coughs> most sassy uh, party members to talk to the uh <laughs> the leader of this town go? Did that go all right? Did you guys put a, get us in good straits with the uh, local government or? She seems more like um, you know a paper mask than a leader. Sergey still likes uh, us though. Yeah, no, Sergey's like my my best, one of my new best friends. Lord Euphrasia is somewhere between incompetent and actively malevolent, and I certainly hope that Sergey finds out which one it is in, before anything bad incompetence happens. Incompetence is malevolence. Mm. <laughs> also, uh, thinking about it now, we get a trade. Lyra, uh, oh, uh, yes. due to that blow up and rightful kind of disowning, uh, I'm gonna say you oh, get an inspiration yeah. for talking yeah. up to a oh, lord yeah. of a province like that. Woo! Oh, thanks. Great. <laughs> just put that Woo. in my notes. <laughs> Backsassed somebody I definitely shouldn't have talked that way to. One inspiration. Mm -hmm. We get to go on a train tomorrow. Mm. We get to, what's a, what's a train? It's like a big cylinder on a rail and there's some kind of thing that makes it go forward. Our horses are going to be in it and um, it's taking us to the next town like real fast. It I seems think. to be a cart that oh, can only slow. travel in one direction, but faster than our cart. Yeah. Well, well, fly like an arrow. I'm sure if Sergey thinks it's smart that I trust it, I guess. But yeah, well. I really. Th <laughs> he built it. <laughs> what? And if you don't get on and listen to me toot that whistle, then I'm gonna be personally. Look, mad. I'm gonna get on it. That's it's that's the plan. I'm just saying. I'm sure the train maybe. will be lovely. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there'll be no complications with the train <laughs> at all. Nah, we haven't had any complications. A train so, through uh, the Old West? Nothing bad ever happens on those. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so we should get some sleep. Then, yeah, let's 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 just go back to the oh, end yeah. unless anyone has anything else they want to do. I want to sleep. All right. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else. I think I need to rest. <laughs> you do go to the inn, and. As you go and get your rooms ready and uh, sleep, that night you all rest in your beds, having a, a mostly nice time recovering, uh, a little bit sore from all the beatings that you got. Just a little. And I word. Think one of us is in a chair. Word is under the bed. <laughs> under the I'm, bed. In, I'm, in, I'm on a chair. Fritz is in the bed. Lara I'm maybe on by, blankets. Like, wings Pile of pillows. Stretched. Pile of pillows. <laughs> word under the bed. So word under Lara. the bed. <laughs> you see a head phase in kind of through the floorboards. It's your good pal, nonstop begonias. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Good evening, boss. Hey, you catch on. What's up? So. These dragon hearts you've been collecting. Any chance you might, you know, want to keep them? Nah, I, I, that's, I think that's out of the question, you know, because if I do that, then I think all my friends and everybody in the region dies. Yeah, it's just not on the table for me. Oh, but why not? I hear they got loads of powerful energy in them. Being bestowed by dragons and all could be a good stepping stone in your own ascension. Eh, you know, there's better stepping stones. Maybe if I became one, I could have one and then not have the world fall into pieces. So that's my current plan. I, I hope you, you're down with backing that, because that's probably as high as I'm going to go. Mm, okay. I'm just saying, though, becoming a dragon would make our jobs a whole lot easier. And if you need to, I have a lot of ideas how to accelerate the process. I'm listening, but so far I don't like the ideas you've pitched. Mm, very well. Back to the drawing board, then. Yeah. 
All right, back to sleep then. Good night, boss. Good night. And he seeps back into the floor. <laughs> All right. And yeah, you guys finish a long rest. Yes, thank God. You may reset your hit points, recover half your hit dice that mm -hmm. you have spent, um, and restore all your, your class features and spell slots and all the like. Wait, Good morning, my friends. How much do we recover? All your all health. All you recover it. half of your hit dice, though. Which is used, I think, only in, only in short rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Method acting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready to blow that whistle and start the train going? I'm, um, I'm so. imagining it's going to take us like like six minutes tops to get to the next town. I hmm. kind of... This is... I, I, there's something I want to say. Is everybody here? Is everybody in the wake? Fritz, wake uh, up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I got such I can, a powerful I visual. I can see that you're awake. You can't hide under the blanket. I know that you're up. Don't make me bap you. You stood there as I did how many flips? I, I, what do you, I, hold on a second. What do you want me to do about you doing flips? I can't could fly helped, up there and know, stop. I, In what way could I have helped? I, no, not particularly. And I don't think that's ever been established. I threw up for that child Why earlier. Shape? <laughs> okay, all right. L listen, this is <laughs> what I wanted to bring up. I'm, I'm starting to get the sense that thing. Obviously, we all understand we're in danger as having undertaken this quest. But I, I, I'm starting to think that I started out thinking that we could trust the dragons and the leadership of these towns that like this was all gonna go smoothly the more that we go along this journey the more i start to think that there's something a little bit more nefarious than just the blot does that make sense yes there are many oh, things yeah. that haven't been adding up i just recently remembered before we went to sleep that the underthrown society is still a thing. yes correct right <laughs> So we have so many conspiracies I, we're juggling I mean, now. <laughs> I, I, before we move on to the next town, I just don't know if there's any more information we want to get about Trevisetta, about the Underthrown Society, about the um, what's the name of the place, the Dios Diosia. Diosia. Because it's uh, it might be a while before we come back here, and we're, we're going to get on. Uh, Perhaps we should be more covert in our information gathering. We've already um, made a bit of a scene in this town, and I doubt Lord Euphrasia is going to be looking kindly on us until we leave. Well, th and that's kind of what I'm getting at before we leave. I'll kind of like look at word. I, I, I think that some of us have um, a certain history with getting some information in not so savory ways and perhaps oh, yes. there's a darker part of this town that might have a little bit more information kind of in the same way that Satya uh, did I mean we can or I mean rather Nubaskai did we I just think we should ask around a little bit before we leave just see if we can pick up anything that's a very fair idea mm -hmm. I'll definitely do my best. I'll see if I have any local ties. You know, we are leaving this place, sadly, with no more recruits for my little army of geniuses. <laughs> but, uh... Mikhail might be interested. Maybe. I haven't spoken to him too much. Mm. Maybe the alchemist, or the apothecary. Or didn't they... Weren't they supposed to visit us? Oh, right, yeah. What happened with the... Well, we could go to the apothecary, and then maybe on the way we keep an eye open for anyone who looks like they might have some information. I mean... Yeah, we'll, we'll spend a few hours. I'll look around. I would just like to... I mean, we... As far as I know, we're safe here in the city. At, at least... least like, Less likely Relatively. to be attacked. Yeah, right. Less likely to be attacked by the blot. But I, So, if we could take advantage of that and try and gather some information about any of this, about the Underthrown Society or Diosia, or about the dragons, or about Trevisetta, mm -hmm. I think that would probably go a long way in the future. Because right now, we're not 
we're not playing with all the cards, right? We're, we're, and I would like to have as much information as we can. Uh, Leira, I think, you know, that lady spends a lot of time talking to people who aren't here in her office. If there's any way that you could turn into, like, a, a worm or, uh, um, like a cockroach. Yes, there are possibilities. I may be able to. Cool. I'll do everything outside that realm. Joe, is there like a, like a, I see this little symbol down here yeah, of a mine downtown. and mm -hmm. shovel. Is that like a laborer's camp or yes, something? Yes, that is kind of the miner's guild. The people who yeah, go yeah. and gather the resources from the various caves and mineral deposits around, you know, the regrowing uh, crystals. And it's a regular day job. And that's basically where you would go to sell your flawless crystals, if you so wish to do so. Oh. Uh, but there are people clauses. there as well. If you so wish to do this investigating, uh, we can do a skill challenge, just like we did in Nuba Sky. But before you do, yeah, that would be I presume you guys were having this conversation within your room, yes? Yes, privately. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes privately. Okay. When we don't you do... know that there's a thing that can phase through the floor. <laughs> So, uh, a yeah, couple of things. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of things. Firstly, when you do uh, open the door to your room, the, the apothecary did pay a visit, and you can see that there's a little care package, a little package uh, with a note that says, To the Pilgrims of Satya on it. And inside, when Aww. you open it, there are four greater potions of healing. That's 4d4. Yeah. Uh, plus, uh, plus four, I'm pretty sure. Four of those. And two potions of. What was the... Where's that spell again? I was trying to find it. It's the one that basically cures you of most ailments. Uh, lesser restoration. Lesser restoration. Two potions of lesser restoration. That's it. Dang. Thank you. I'm going to take one of the potions of healing. I think greater. we can all take one, right? You, all, yeah. you can all take yeah, one. So There's we'll enough for each of, of you. Oh, yeah, and uh, your poison would be gone as well. Yes. Yay. Yeah. yeah. I'll grab one of the other potions. If people are cool with it, I'll take one of the potions of lesser restoration. That's fine with me. Okay. All right. I'll just make it. a custom item for that. What a great apothecary. Yeah. Oh, delicious drinks. Yes. Delicious beverage. Sippy sodas. <laughs> sippy uh, soda? <laughs> delicious sip. <laughs> these, these say sippy sodas on them. Mm. I can't wait to meet this sippy sodas. And when you guys do head downstairs, you also note a very familiar Arakakra man kind of sitting oh, at one great. of the tables expectantly. Mm. There's one I reckon. Ah, oh, there he it's is. A is it the morning? It it's is mint morning. chip dad. Um. And he, he notices you and he just kind of uh, awkwardly waves his shoulders a little bit, kind of raised in intensity. Fritz, do you Estrop want us here? Estropio? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, good morning, Fa uh, <clears throat> Fritz. Uh, nice. I hope all is well. I just um. It's a bit early for a drink, isn't it? <laughs> nah. Well, perhaps I, I just wanted to catch you as I've uh, heard that you might be departing today, and I didn't know when we would get a chance. But um, I, I understand you're busy. Mm. Uh, if you need to go do things, that is fine as well. I just didn't know when. The next chance I would get to uh, perhaps say goodbye. No, I can grab breakfast. Just wait there a moment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fritz walks up and is like, "Can I? Uh, what do you have for food?" <laughs> the Fritz, general. Do, do you want? Do you want us here? Do, uh, oh, do you need to do the? Go sell a crystal. Uh, it's up to you guys. It's just, I guess, birth parent. <laughs> yeah, uh, and on that note, right. and we're just walking. Yeah, I'll walk. I'll follow <laughs> word out as well. I I really need to go eavesdrop on Lady Euphrasia. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we're, you're you're going here, is that right? Yeah, I'm gonna take ten minutes out of the the hour hours that we spend to go sell my my flawless magic crystal. Mm -hmm. Can I? Uh, I guess this could be the skill check, maybe. But I was gonna look around for like maybe a shady part of town and yes. Like, so we will do like all those skill checks and the skill challenge after this little encounter okay. with okay. Estrapio. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'm, I'm gonna get my breakfast and also two tiny shots of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. 
<laughs> yeah, and I walk over and I put one by me and one in front of him. And I sit there with my breakfast. <laughs> he uh, kind of uh, hesitate, hesitates a little bit. Oh, I, well, uh, part of the reason I, I came early is because I, I, uh, I, uh, I, I don't drink. Um, <laughs> so I, I thought perhaps something. Uh, I mean, I, I, not that I, I would decline. I, I, thank you for the gesture. I, and he just takes the, the shot glass. <laughs> I hope oh, he's such okay. a lightweight that he's like <laughs> off the entire thing. <laughs> You don't have to drink it if you don't want. I can easily take two. No, no, no. Th- that's fine. I, uh, you, you offered it, and it would be rude of me to decline. I. Hmm. Okay, just if you don't drink a lot, hold your nose when you do it. Takes a little bit of a sip. <laughs> yeah, he goes and yeah, kind of he sniffs just... it and winces a bit. <laughs> hmm. He holds his breath and takes a swig. And you can just see that his eyes just widen, and he just, like, takes a fist to his chest and kind of bu- bumps it a bit. Mm, mm. Okay, ah. you know what? Mm. I'm going to offer out a kind gesture. I'm going to give him one of my, the like, hasty, like, little sugar bump things. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not it. What was it, those candies that we got? Yeah, it was, like, a sugar... It was, like, a sugary thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, a, like a lollipop. I'll, I'll give him one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Ugh. It's been a while since I've had the taste of alcohol. Mm. <laughs> but, Don't uh, ask what age I started drinking. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh. So? And Fritz just takes it down easily. <laughs> <laughs> How's the pilgrimage? Um, it's going good um that's good <laughs> i forget you work for here or i somewhere i else? do yeah. i'm i uh kind of mm. do some of the shuffling and, and bureaucracy that goes on uh, an underling of lord euphrasia and mm. uh do you care for this place of course i do i i worked day and night to make sure this place runs smoothly I love it, and I love its people. Hmm. How would you feel if someone was hiding something that could hurt the people? That lives have already been lost because of it? Well, I'd feel somewhat responsible, considering that it I'm supposed to know all the things that go on around here. Nothing <laughs> slips my eyes, and I make sure that I account for everything that goes on. I make sure to account for all criminal activity and report it to Lord Euphrasia. She reports back. We make sure things are kept in check. Imports, exports, already... and the like. Did you guys talk about anything that happened last night? If you're allowed to disclose that with your daughter? Uh, well, there are certainly some aspects that are private matters that I'm not supposed to disclose to anyone other than government officials. Hmm. So you're saying you don't know? Uh, perhaps not, whatever it is you're alluding to. Well, I'm not one for politics, but as Dozen once said to me, once the well is poisoned, it spreads very far, and you might not want to drink from any faucet for a while. Hmm. He kind of stares at his empty glass. He's a smart man. Mm. How is Dozen doing? He's still doing his regular rounds between Satya and the mainland? Yeah. I... Actually, he helped me form a business. He's really... there for me. <laughs> <clears throat> Not that you... Well, you weren't, but... He I... holds up his hand. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. You know... We can both agree he's a good man. <laughs> he is. Perhaps better than I deserve. But <laughs> He's better than we both deserve. You really have become an impressive young courier. I mean, Pilgrim of Alinti. That sure is something. Yeah. Great marketing after this, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of sits there and just enjoys the company for a little bit small talk here and there not much to say mostly to listen and after you two finish your breakfast well this was 
pleasant. Uh, I, uh, I should get back to work. Um, mm -hmm. I do hope you the best of luck on the rest of your journey, and if you ever do see Dozen again, tell him thank you, and tell him that I owe him my life. Will do, but please... I don't know if, how many parts you would feel me saying this, but... Keep your eyes on Lord Euphrasia. Something's amiss, and... We might have pissed them off. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a coin... <laughs> All right, then. I'll take your words to heart, Fritz. You have a good journey. And he leaves the you tavern. Too. <laughs> bye bye. I'm just gonna finish my breakfast. <laughs> Layra, what were you doing while this was going on? You were gonna go snoop? I was gonna go snoop. Okay, while well, you guys are gonna snoop, so we're gonna do a skill challenge. Yeah. Uh, but word, snoop, when snoop, you go snoop. to sell your uh, flawless crystal. Okay. Um. Before that, I stop by butterscotch and rub. Some <laughs> yes, of course. Every day, as Thank you, you do. Uh, Two more days. And let's see. It the flawless crystal goes for how many dice did I say it was? Okay. Million. Okay. The mining guild offers you three hundred gold pieces for the flawless Whoa. crystal. I will not barter, just so we don't you know, focus on that too much. But 300 is happy. 300 is happy. All but right. I want to. Word walks away jingling slightly louder, but trying to muffle the noise. <laughs> All right. And in the meantime, we're going to do a skill challenge. Yay. This skill challenge uh, will involve you snooping and sneaking around, trying to find what you can about uh, the ongoings and maybe deeper notions of what's going on in Politrios involving not only the blot, uh, the history of Diosia, uh, perhaps some foul play going on in the uh, bureaucracy, or maybe something else. And we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna say that we will keep going until you reach three failures, in which case you have expended all of your attempts Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, Wait, why are you rolling? We're going to roll initiative oh, just okay. so we can yeah. keep track gotcha. of whose turn it is. I saw a turn order came up, so I just rolled initiative. No, yeah, yeah, that's that's what it's for. Good, resist. So everyone who is Dang. snooping. Oh, we're getting ready to snoop. Mm -hmm. mm, prepare to snoop. There we go. Some sort. Very middle There's of the a pack, sort button. Oh, there we go. I can huh. just click sort. No. So firstly... Is word, how do you wish to snoop? I will start by making myself, you know, as non-recognizable as possible. <laughs> uh, just as a general stealth check, I'll try and like uh, scout out all the al alleyways I can hide near major buildings. Um, or actually, no, that's not scouting. So just general stealth. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know how to describe that properly. General stealth, give me a stealth check. Womp. Okay. Yeah. Oh, baby. You do hear some odd goings on, a few rumors here and there. Some of them talking seem to have uh, noted that Lord Euphrasia seems to be at her wit's end recently. Perhaps something has come up. She seems a little bit more agitated than she usually is, which is saying a lot considering she's agitated most of the time. And that she is secluding herself and not taking any uh, appointments with anybody right now today. Check it out, Lara. You're next. <laughs> yeah. Better believe it. For some reason, I can't make the turn order go to the... N oh, it's because I'm... Uh, there we go. Rejoin SGM. There we go. Uh, but yeah, Layra, it's your turn. I'll fix the turn order soon. Great. Uh, there we go. Well, the cool thing about Wild Shape is I can stay in it for two hours. So, I would like Ooh. to. I would like to be a fly on the wall for like a solid hour fifty, and then bounce uh, in time to like be somewhere else when I shift back. Okay. I would say a stealth with advantage. Okay. I have a plus zero at this. Uh, the you get the fly's physical stats though. Oh, uh, then let me load that up <laughs> because oh my God. yeah, the, I rolled incredibly badly. Yeah, um, I'll let you roll with the fly stats. Thank you. Uh, hmm, is this correct? Oh yes, good. This one is tiny. 
Uh, yeah, stealth sure plus dry. four. That's so much better. Hey. So should I roll again or just add plus four to my garbage roll? Uh, let's add plus four. So that's a 13. That, uh... Oh, no, that's, a, that's no, an 11. It's an Sorry. 11. <laughs> an 11. My bad. I okay. truly thought yeah, I had rolled two brilliant. ones when I saw the dice come up the first time. <laughs> okay, so an 11 is going to be a failure. Uh, as you are kind of zipping around trying to find your way into the Lord's offices, or at least close enough to where you could probably hear uh, Lord Euphrasia, but all your attempts kind of fail as you run into magic barrier after magic barrier after magic barrier. What seems... Magic barriers? Yes. As uh, huh. the official building is somewhat important and the business going on is not information they want to leave their doors a lot of the time, today especially, for some reason. Weren't we physically in that building before? You most certainly were. Huh. Well, Gre uh, what you know is, you know, you were allowed in. Hmm. But you are trying to sneak your way in. I considered taking Meld into stone today, and I decided against it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. But that is going to be one failure. You've got two left. Great. Buck, how do you investigate? I, I want to go to, like, a like a shady part of town, and I kind of want to, like, rough up someone for information on the Underthrone The Society. Underthrone, okay. Wait, uh -huh. what, what did you say? Yeah, it, it yeah, kind of came through a little bit fuzzed. <laughs> I want, can you not hear me? I want to rough up somebody. Oh, rough up somebody. Oh, okay. okay. What did I say? <laughs> don't, don't we worry almost heard it. the same way. I yeah, mean, yeah. We have I no want syllable maybe, of that. Maybe Buck is maybe Buck, seducing maybe type. Maybe Buck has an eye. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Takes a cue maybe. from that one hot dwarf we hung out with. Don't laugh that at Buck. That was so seduce. left field for you. I had to do a double take. I was like, Buck hey, has on. canonically been married. So let's just relax on the he can't but seduce anybody. Canonically anymore. doesn't know what sex is. <laughs> and is canonically no longer married. So. Look, I didn't say that he was good at what he does. I'm just saying that he could. All right. Well, no, anyway, stop I'm not, what, uh, what kind I'm of role would that be? Uh, I, I think either I, I would I would say if I was DMing I would probably say intimidation. Intimidation. But if I would, if, sure. If I was the player, I'd say, can I use strength instead? <laughs> yes, but I, I think strength intimidation is a valid valid uh, path. Uh, so you can strength. Uh, are you proficient in intimidation? I am in proficiency. Okay, then you'll add a two to that as in addition to your strength, okay. or, or whatever uh, your proficiency bonus is. What is it? A three now? It's a two. Uh, it's a three. It's yeah, three. three. So you'll add your proficiency oh. bonus. So it's that plus three. 13, okay. Unfortunately, 13 is also going to be a failure as you rough up some Damn. people and it just kind of makes some of them just mad or scared at you. A lot of them insist they don't really know anything about the Underthrone. And what are you talking mm -hmm. about? A lot of them seem confused. Okay. Second failure. <laughs> One more no, and right. your investigation ends. Okay. Dang. Uh, ro ro Word. All right. Um... Let's end this on a good or bad note. <laughs> I'm going to go to the capital um, and try and get some information, uh, framing it as urgent matters with a deception check. Just, <laughs> you know, framing myself as any sort of important person who might be an info gatherer who needs. Uh, maybe I lost paper. Gotcha. Or Give me a deception. Ooh. Yeah. All right. They MVP. say right this way. And what what sort of questions are you asking again? Uh, just asking what Lord Euphrasia is up to, maybe uh, when the last time, oh, specifically, I'll do this one instead. When the last time someone from House... Baztan? Uh, it... Baztan was in, and what, what they were here okay. for. Okay, you know that uh, recently House Baztan and quite a few other uh, businesses from Trevisetta actually have recently had trade agreements with Politrios. And there are talks okay. to kind of expand and perhaps even melding of the two uh, provinces, perhaps in the future. Uh, no one knows for sure. All rumors, of course, hearsay. But some people think it might happen. And some people, they don't know what she's talking about. But they do know that Lord Euphrasia does have meetings with Lord Nicholas Tejero today. And that they are not to disturb her until oh. those meetings are over. Mm. Oh, I want to get in there so bad. I hate that nerd. I hate him. All right, I'm going to scramble around and try and alert my other lackeys as we're going through, just to <laughs> let them know that that's something they can explore. Yeah. Once the skill challenge is over, I would also say that you would share the information that you've gathered 
as well. Sorry, has word okay, gotten yeah, right. into the building that I've been failing to get into? He has, yes. Could I have hitched a ride? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, because you were you were waiting there trying to get I in. I was and trying so You know what? Hard. Yes. I would say yes. <laughs> Thank you. You can hitch a ride on Word, and you can make it in the building as they have allowed Word in, and you being attached to him, you know, they wouldn't have seen Thank you. you. Thank <laughs> you. Mercy for the player. And now it is your turn, Lyra. Please, uh... All right. I'm in. <laughs> um, I'm, like, swatting at you. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's a big building... But they, they've kind of indicated where Lord Euphrasia is in the building, right? Yes, and you, from experience, know where her office is. All right, I would like to try and just go there and, like, go, uh, either go under the door or, like, sit outside of it and listen. Now, <laughs> I'll, I'll take let whatever you know, I can get. I'll let you uh -huh. know this um, to perhaps inform your role. When you do go into the cracked slit of the door, you see that there is a magical barrier sealing it off and basically completely, when you uh, sit to listen, you can't even hear what's going on inside. Whatever that's going on, that Lord Euphrasia has made every effort to keep it secret. Oh, damn it. She's too good at this. Uh, the only spell I have that could do anything is dispel magic and that's such a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, all right. Are there any animals that I think kind of even a chance of, like, eavesdropping or, like, being around to champ, like a cat or something? Hmm. Because yes. I have speak with animals. I would say a few of the officials would have pets around. Pets are allowed in the building as long as they are kept close and on a magical leash. Okay. So, yeah, you could probably find the odd, like, desk cat or something. Great. Um, then so, I yeah. would like to... Speak with animals and... Yes. Your choice of animal handling, persuasion, or perhaps something else that you may feel uh, might be suiting. Animal handling is plus three. Persuasion is plus two. Uh, those are kind of the only two options I have. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, just try a persuasion. And I Alrighty. think... No, Come on. animal handling, which is better. I think I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> yeah. All right. Seems appropriate. Does that mean I'm rolling with advantage? Uh, well, let's roll first. I don't want you to waste your uh, your inspiration oh. on something if you're just uh, going to make okay. it. Who knows? You'll nat 20. Let's see. Come on, nat 20. That's nat actually 20. pretty go. close. Hey. There we go. That's a 19. Okay. okay. So you do find a, a cat on a desk, and you kind of land next to it, and it kind of paws at you doesn't seem interested in eating you and as you speak with it it informs you that lord euphrase is talking with uh lord nicholas right now as uh the information that word might have gathered um mm -hmm. and that it has something to do with the pilgrims she seemed very upset at the pilgrims entrance yesterday for some mm. reason and <laughs> yeah i wonder who did that and the cat also informs you of new information that she has sent a missive to trevisetta someone that n no one on the kind of payroll is even familiar with. Uh-oh. Someone who perhaps at a glance doesn't work for the officiates of Alinthi. Right. The cat says that no one else seemed to have noticed that except for her. Wow, this cat's so good at its job. Okay, so... So Lord Euphrasia sent somebody to Trevisetta ahead of us who, at first glance, doesn't look like they work for the government. Cool. Hopefully we're not about to get assassinated. Um, I'm sure everything's fine. Uh, but that, that's, my, that's my check, I guess, so. Fuck. Because my party doesn't believe in me, Joe, what I'd like to do is I'd like to try and seduce uh, like a local patron of some kind to try and get some information or like to flirt with somebody. Okay. Some interesting buck -ock. What do you What do you think that would be? Would that be like a charisma well, performance? What? I would like to use oh, my uh, all or nothing coin. Your so all or nothing really coin. Matter. Oh my God, we're using the all or nothing coin for our last check. Well, you're assuming it's going to be last, because I might do great here. I oh, might yes, get a two. Oh, yes, so sorry. Okay. So two is a nat 20. One is a nat one, I, yes. Let's roll a let's d2. Go. Flip that coin. Ah, All right. Dude, Jake, that's how I thought it was going to... You find... I think something's broken with the d2. It doesn't seem to be working. 
<laughs> the last, yeah, the yeah. last three that I've done, I failed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I will find a... Yeah, go ahead and describe what happens there. You <laughs> find a, a fairly, you know, just a nondescript citizen of Politrios. They seem to be minding their own business. Having a... You, you spot your target. Oh, no. You, you are ready... <laughs> They seem prompt and ready for a handsome young man to sweep them off their feet. Ugh. And you try your yeah. usual routine. You you kind of nail all of the points. You seem to have them along, but little did you know, they were playing with you the whole time. And as soon as you try to hook them oh. in and reel them in like you've got them, they give you a slap across the face, walk off oh. with their friends, and you're left with a red mark on your cheek. No. That is going to be mm. the end of the investigation. And you take one <laughs> damage as well, Buck. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I go back to the group then, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. that is what you gather as far as all information right. goes. <sighs> and we'll meet back up, I guess, at the uh, Yeah, if there's no yeah. obstacle to us getting out of the building. <laughs> Dude, yep. I wish I was closer with my not dad dad. Then I could ask him for this information. Why doesn't my not dad love me? <laughs> yeah. Why can't he just be a pawn for me to manipulate? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, probably exactly. Could. It's called castle. <laughs> huh. Well, we're not very good at espionage, but uh, we tried, and that's what the important thing is. I'm enjoying a good you guys, uh, right now. I'm like rubbing my face. Did you guys get any uh, good information or? Uh, yeah, you have no idea how much paperwork I had to file. It took me like uh, like three rolls of yours. Whatever Lord Euphrasia is talking to Nicholas Trevisetta about right now, she desperately does not want to be overheard and I couldn't find a subtle way past her defenses. But the um, office cat did say that they sent somebody ahead of us to Trevisetta, oh. someone who doesn't seem like they yeah. work for the office. Lord, that Nick was you. I was gonna smack you. <laughs> One of them hmm? was me. <laughs> you ah. need to bathe a little bit more often. Uh, we have plenty of water did, right here. Did you say Nicholas Tejero is <clears throat> here in this? Oh yes, that's city? his name. Uh, yes, he's currently. Oh, you, in said, the you said Trevisetta. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it began with a Mr. T. They're Trevisetta. all the same. He's currently, or at least was at the time, in a meeting with. Lord Euphrasia, who seemed very displeased with us for reasons I couldn't possibly fathom. Um, and, uh, yes, they had some sort of magical ward under the door, and I didn't want to reveal myself by attempting to dispel it. Hmm. So that we can agree that's not good, right? No. <laughs> like, this, they, I don't understand why this guy has been following, like, in our footsteps this entire time, but... I don't like it. No, we are we are in trouble. You know, maybe uh, the place that's below this place, maybe whoever's running uh, Trevisetta is actually from there. Like they're coming back or something, making a little resurgence under a different name. That would be very interesting. I suppose Trevisetta would be our best place to investigate that. Oh, we're gonna be there for a while. You know, at some point we probably want to make sure that the cart he gave us doesn't have some sort of magical booby trap on it, or... Yeah, I, I or, don't want like a big bomb on a train. That wouldn't be cool. Or another stowaway. Another stowaway would be quite impressive, frankly. It's not a very big cart. Well, let me... Yeah, speaking of, we mm -hmm. should grab that lantern from the cart and make sure that stupid little gnome, or whatever the thing was, the guy with the wings. Oh, yes. Jerry, he's not there. Liam? Yes, just to be sure. Yeah, yeah the uh, um. the Lantern of True Sight d does reveal, like, a few little critters that have taken, uh, kind oh. of sitting around your cart. Just little innocuous bugs, but um, huh. nothing of, of note, really. They scatter as soon as they notice that their person has been revealed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just do a general perception check looking for uh, any weird-looking runes, you know, things that if I walk past them, they glow or proc okay. or something. Hmm. Womp. Normal roll. Okay, perception. Yeah. You look up and down and scan the entire cart, and you actually do find there is a rune 
uh, of mm. magic of some kind at the very bottom, the belly of the cart. Okay, uh, I'll start with an Arcana check, and Ooh. then if I don't, okay, okay. Arcana, <laughs> you recognize this rule. rune. This is some kind of rune that tracks locations. Oh my god. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub that off. Uh, Ooh. that might not be enough. How uh, so? Oh, How yeah. do you scrub uh, off a rune? Some el some elbow grease, and then I go get my. Okay, party. <laughs> you try to scrub and scrub and scrub. It seems this thing is magically embedded into the cart. It doesn't seem All to come right. off with what simple about? physical means. Didn't we buy scrolls right, we get of Dispel Magic? Or I actually like just have Dispel Magic as a third level spell now. Oh, okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Well, there you go. So I'd like to try and cast that on the cart. When we remove the lantern, I want to keep that lantern. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> actually, well, I, I get to choose the magical effect that I want to end if I can. Um, okay. You cast Dispel Magic on the rune, and it does vanish, but... As it does, you can see the rune seems to shoot out a few arcane bolts at the crystals that were levitating the back end of the cart, and the cart, boom, lands on the uh, ground. Without back wheels, it is now being dragged on the sandy ground. Uh, they bundled the levitation and the tracking device. <laughs> That's weird. Um, well, I can't make crystals levitate again, so perhaps we should see if someone in this city of inventors can give us some wheels. What? So I think we were just stripping the cart of all of our goods and then putting it on the train from here, right? We weren't even bringing it. Uh, Sergey suggested that you could pack the cart oh. as well as cargo. Yeah, like, the oh, cart and the okay. horses so that we could re-equip mm -hmm. it. But we, yeah, yeah, we might want to be like, whoopsies. <laughs> um, who? I don't remember who the person is that could fix things here. There are, you know, inventors around. If you go to the general store, you could get someone to repair it for, let's say, about 40 gold pieces. Fix it up. Ooh, could I talk to Spade, who I talked to before, and see if he'll do it? Spade, all right. Yes, you can. The priest of Kothazung. Yeah, the yeah. builder. Let's see. Let me pull him up. Yes, if you do uh, wish to, you can. Where's Spade? Spade, 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 spade. Church of Kothazong, Church of Kothazong. Uh, where is it? Where did I? I've got too many gosh darn NPCs. It's, it might just be under Spade, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, it's alphabetical order. Okay, <laughs> yes. When you enter the Church of, of Kothazong, the Great Builder, uh, you can see that Spade is there and he tips his hat. Hello. Um, I tip my hat, uh, hat, brothers in faith and hats. Um, <laughs> Spade, I came across sort of a uh, engineering conundrum, and I'm wondering if I could get your expertise, um, either through. I'll, I'm happy to pay you. I just figured being a he holds up his hand to the builder. Say oh. no more, child of the builder, or uh, should I say, child of luck. Because your luck is about to change. I'm always happy to fix up some things for some locals, or travelers in your case. Always happy to help. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Plus, uh, gets let me... me out of this musty old church. Much as I like it, I kind of miss fiddling with my hands sometimes. Right, well, right this way, I'll, sh I'll show you where it is we need assistance. All right. You lead him out towards the cart. He kind of yep. kneels, investigates... So you just want to turn this thing back into a regular old non-magical cart? I could hook it up with some wheels. That would probably be I, for the best. I presume that would be, yeah, that, that would be great if that's something that you think you can manage. Mm. We have reliable, beautiful horses pulling this thing. <laughs> that I can see. You've done well by these horses, I can tell. Aw. Tell you what, Buck. I give them... For coming into my church and revealing some very personal things to me, being brave as you are. I'll fix it up, Ooh. Ooh. free charge. <gasps> Least I can do. Oh, I, I feel as though I have to pay something like a tithe or a, a donation to the church. I mean, like you said, it's old and musty. I, hmm. I, you know. Buck, I think you should know by now that the best thing a gambler can receive is something that's free. You see, Spade- I think I get- Spade puts a hand on your shoulder. Son, you finding yourself and finding your path to enlightenment, whatever your faith is already payment enough for me. As far as I'm concerned, you find yourself and find what makes you happy, then I've done my job. Right. Um, I appreciate that. <laughs> well, this guy's crazy. 
Yeah, right, right, right. Well, it, let, let's say this, that if, if I'm ever back, come back through here, if you need help fixing up the church or anything like that, I'm happy to provide my services, and I'll send as much luck your way as I can mm. in that regard. That'd be much appreciated. I have been thinking about expanding it a little bit. I do have a few ideas. I'll show you when you come back. In the meantime, though, right. let's get cracking. And he <laughs> kind of pulls his poncho off, uh, kind of throws it off, and reaches into a pack that has a bunch of old tools. He has to blow some du- blow, quote unquote, wipe some dust off of a lot of them. <laughs> and he starts to fix up your cart back to a traditional, <laughs> normal one with wheels and no crystals. Yay. Hmm. While he's doing this, though, uh, and you guys are oh. sitting around kind of watching, Hang Lyra, out. you feel yes. something kind of just nudge up against you, something small. Oh. Uh, <gasps> Could it be? Is it the cat? You see something small and it's just kind of tapping next to you. And when you look down, you see a vein of fungus that seems to have grown its way down the kind of deserty path. And it's topped off with a few dozen mushroom species. And at the very tip of the tallest one appears to have two glowing green eyes and glowing horns. (laughs) Hello? Hello. I already used speak with it. Oh my god, that's awesome. And you oh, can see... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I, In the other campaign I'm in, all the mushroom stuff has been you from forgot. fucking uh, the, the scary fungus lady in the uh, abyss. So my my like oh, fight or flight instincts are all wrong for this. Okay, Shemaya. Yep, you this can see what kind of mushroom would grow in the arid desert. Well, it turns out, apparently, it is your... Uh, mentor, Shamaya herself, in some sort of weird fungal form. This and is very impressive. <laughs> she looks, uh, uh, the mushroom figure that seems to be just like about an inch tall kind of looks up at you, and you can hear it speak kind of echoing out from this little mushroom. Uh, good morning, Cha- uh, Lyra. I wished to get in touch, but had more to say than a, lending, a sending spell could cover. If, oh, uh, if only if asking directions as a traveling mushroom wasn't so <laughs> difficult. It often catches people off guard for some reason. What with the advancements in communication magics, you'd think a layperson wouldn't waste so much time being surprised at such things. Yes, I, I can't imagine reacting in such a way. <laughs> I'm going to lean down so I can hear the mushroom better. <laughs> I do hope you have <laughs> a little bit of time to chat. Oh, yes. Uh, we are actually just arranging the next leg of our transportation, so now is the perfect time. Hmm. Well, that's good to hear. First, I'd like to know how your journey has been thus far. What have you learned? Oh, what have we learned? Oh, man. Um, I'm going to do the general rundown of like, okay, so we went into the spooky dungeon, and then it was weird, and there were all these <laughs> fake robot corpses, and then we went down further in the spooky dungeon, and then it's like, oh, the kingdom of uh, De- Deosia was waging war on Olynthi, and the roots of the life tree seem to have been used <laughs> as an attack. And uh, also, I yelled at the lord of this city, and now she's conspiring with uh, Trevisetta, and hopefully that's fine. But like, you know, chiller. <laughs> all right. After taking it all in, she doesn't even say anything Uh, aside from a few more leading questions and like details Mm -hmm. when you're uh, asking but or or when you're telling your story but mostly just kind of listening I see this does bring a lot of concern yes and the the blot's apparent controlling will is rather alarming Uh, as is the disappearance of the weather witch and everybody else who we seem to have been dealing with in this scenario indeed do keep an eye out Mm -hmm. other than that though Though you've kept, you've given me a lot of information involving your prig- pilgrimage, I also wanted to know what you have learned as a person. Oh. Um. Come now, you must have had run ins with the odd character here and there, spoken with your companions, perhaps helped folk with some self discovery. Oh, yes, many people. Uh, lots of problems. Um, most people just, turns out they just need to believe in themselves and figure out what they actually want, which. Seems to be surprisingly difficult for a lot of people. Also, Lord Euphrasia is really not a great person, which yes. is rather difficult to deal with. She is quite unpleasant. Um, yes, it's it's been interesting. I think it's getting easier. It's hard to tell. We seem to be dealing with more difficult people. Well, 
I am glad that you are still all right, all the circumstances notwithstanding. But I also came to let you know a few things. I am no stranger to isolation. I often prefer it as it helps me focus on my work. But admittedly, your absence has been uh, a strange obstacle for me to overcome. I also realize that it's rare we ever spend recreational time together. Yes, I suppose it is. Uh, The sailor, the dwarven one, friend of Fritz, was it? Yes, Dozen. He gave a suggestion, one that I am not against, and I did quite like it. Uh, Mm -hmm. We plan to make a visit to you. I have made in a request for a license to use the teleportation circles around Olinthi, and Dozen, I, and some strange kobold that came to us wish to pay the pilgrims a visit wherever your next stop might be. Oh my. Um, I believe Travesetta was our next destination, but I don't know exactly when we'll be arriving. Mm. We're actually headed to a uh, city between the two. Yes. Oh, is sorry, it? which one? Uh, it is called Tigamura. Tigamura, great. I'll pass that along. Mm-hmm. Tigamura. Well, yeah. definitely a lot better than Travesetta, that's for sure. Uh, yes. Well then. Being able to see you in a more tangible way than uh, that le- uh, letters and magic fail to fill might be a good thing, and I am potentially interested in this practicing this hanging out, if that is agreeable. <laughs> of course, yes. I, I think it would be a very educational experience for all of us. Um, is everything going well in Satya? Is, has anything strange happened? No, not since the witch left. Things have been oddly quiet, and back to normal, just daily routine, as it were. All right, well, let's hope that lasts. It seems like everywhere we go, Trevor said has been causing some form of trouble. Even more so than usual, it appears. Mm. But that's good. Good to hear of you that you are doing well. Is there anything else you'd like to share with me? I'd be glad to hear it. Oh, let's see. Uh, let me just think back all the things I haven't communicated yet. Um, well, now that the weather witch embargo's out, I guess uh, stuff we learned about the blot. Um, oh, criminy. Uh, I think that's everything, but it's been three weeks since we played last, so. Mm-hmm. That's all good. Yeah, I'll say <laughs> yeah. you give her all the important information and all yeah, that stuff. That was a prompt right. in case you wanted to just tell her anything else that doesn't have to do with the plot. But, uh, um. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I think still all business, kind of, but I am excited to do this hanging out thing in whatever that city name is. Mm-hmm. Very well, yes. then. I do look forward to hanging out <laughs> yes it's good for it's good to hear from you again and um i'm looking forward to that as well likewise chat um Lera. and you have a good trip and i will see you in tigamura if you could do me a favor and pluck me from these fungal things it's oh. not exactly the easiest it's still a very experimental magic and it would cause me more trouble to try and dismiss them myself in the form that i am oh yes of course let me just you know pop that you sucker out of there. pop it out and the eyes and horns kind of fade and the fungus just kind of s- kind of slowly deforms down into the dirt. I'm just gonna keep that mushroom in case it's important later. <laughs> um, By the is time it like that a particularly interesting Sagan? species? Uh, is it a particularly in- yeah. you, you can just add a rep- red cap mushroom into your inventory. Cool. Great. Mm-hmm. I forget the name of the. What's the Mario mushroom? Oh name? yeah. Oh yeah. What what is, is it? Red. Is it cat. the right color? Uh, am Amanita. Uh, Amanita muscaria. Yeah. Muscaria or fly agaric, or fly huh. Amanita. You can huh. add Amanita, Amanita mushroom to your oh, inventory. God. There we go. Amanita mushroom. Let's go. Amanita. And technically, just to you, that's a potion of growth. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh ooh. boy. All right, so after that little conversation, Hi. Spade would have finished up the back wheels of the cart, and I'll have to redraw the cart art for that to uh, accurately reflect it. He finishes it up, puts away his tools, and you can see the wheels are not necessarily straight, but they'll do the job. 
There we go. I did my best. I'm admittedly a little bit out of practice. Builder, forgive me, but uh, this thing should get you across country, so long as you don't go into any high-speed chases. What are the odds oh. of that happening, really? <laughs> well, anything can happen well, out here good. in the desert. I'd say protecting mm -hmm. the cart is probably better than running, if this worst comes true. to worst. Well, we've had some right practice. <laughs> uh, we've had some practice defending the cart anyway, so I, I really appreciate it. And, and like I said, my services I'll offer to you next time we come back through here. Um, uh, thank once you. Once the pilgrimage is finished. I do apologize. My hands aren't what they used to be, and I'm not exactly a uh, practice artificer like the rest of them. You probably would have gotten a better job done with someone you know, of the profession, but I still, it still gladdens me and humbles me that you would come to me for this sort of work. Uh, none of us is, uh, all of us are getting older, I guess I should say, so we'll, I, we really appreciate the work. Indeed. You have a good day, pilgrims. Corenzi, keep you. you. Spade. Uh, so Shamaya, Dozen, and Word, some of your friends are going to be meeting us in whatever that city that we're going to next is? Here, I'll write it down. Wait, how many? Uh, I'm not sure. It's like a lot. I, I'm, not, I'm not ready for a party. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Yes. Tigamura. There we go. Tigamura. Yeah, so. I hope they're all right. They seem to be. Apparently things have been very quiet since the disappearance of the Weather Witch. Good. Yes. So who who's coming? Shamaya, Dozen, and some of Word's little friends. Dozen's coming? Probably. Like yes. Well. Ah! Yeah. And how did you how did you come across that? You get a sending spell. I'm just gonna hold up the mushroom with no further explanation. Okay, so you're, you're gonna eat that. The resemblance is uncanny. No, but neither can you. Ah. And and no one said they were kind like no one. From Nuba Sky or anything, or coming I to see me? I seriously or? doubt that Shemaya would have sought out anyone from Nuba Sky, but um, right, right, right. Next time they're here, perhaps you could tell them. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, you guys have you know family members and friends and stuff that are gonna come visit, so that makes sense. So. And why would you need family members when you've got everybody you care about right here? <laughs> I'm gonna go get in the cart now. So. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, baby. Should we write Buck a letter? Uh, yes. Maybe we should write... It can be from Begonias. Begonias? Uh, yes. Maybe we should write Buck's <laughs> yeah, ex-wife a, a letter and then indicate that perhaps she should write Buck a letter. Oh, Would God. They <laughs> That's just emotional yeah, treachery of the whole time. <laughs> yeah, what sure about a favorite people. casino he likes? They could write him a letter. Maybe that even a better idea we could fabricate <laughs> from his wife. Maybe that nice <laughs> dwarven priest we met. He seemed friendly. Yeah, they would get along well. <laughs> maybe <laughs> we'll figure something. Maybe out. Buck could get <laughs> lucky. Hey. 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 Uh, uh, that that would be easier cuz I don't know how to write. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, I am seeing a, a slight flaw in the cunning plan. Are you guys discussing something over there? I'm getting the, no, <laughs> the no. card already. <laughs> just taking a look at the card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep getting it ready. Four wheels, just as All intended. Right. <laughs> Looks good Four to wheels, me. even though now it has oh. a little bit of a bump in its in its pull. <laughs> oh, no. And, yeah. Right, so, so you guys are heading to the train station then? Yeah. Yes. yes, we are. So you head on up to the train, to the Politrios train station. Uh, and you can oh see goodness, it's got a... cars and locomotives docked, seemingly untouched and unmoved for who knows how long. And Sergey, as well as a few dozen other artificers standing outside, uh, one being prepped for transport. And That's alongside him are also a few pedestrian onlookers. Mikkel is there. No Tail is there. Norium, the fire oh. genasi, the uh, oh. innkeeper, is there as well. And yeah, about half the half the town is here to see you off. It's a big event to see the uh, Politrios trains finally start up. No sign of Lord Euphrasia, perhaps. No sign of Lord Euphrasia. 
How oh, gauche. What a, what bitch, a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see no tail, I consciously slip the ring off my finger and put it in my, in my <laughs> So, Sergey sees you approach and he waves you over. Hey there, pilgrims. You ready? Uh, More than Aye, aye, ever. captain. Yes. He opens oh. one of the passenger carts and he kind of uh, calls a command for some folk to, some mages to kind of open up one cart. You can see that it's pretty huge. It looks like one of those storage carts for materials and stuff. And some mages kind of levitate open the various different sections of the walls and levitate your cart into it and then close it up. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And there's and another one. Efficiency in butterscotch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a second one behind it where efficiency in butterscotch are given a uh, uh, kind of ramp to walk up and a bunch of hay Heck for them. Yeah. yeah. That's what they deserve. <laughs> uh, can I have bought just like some nutritious apple snacks for them? Yeah, I'd say so. How about like two gold pieces for like a week's worth of snacks? <laughs> okay, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. I can afford it. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, we're not all flat broke anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just you guys. <laughs> I still have a double digit amount of gold. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, you do too? Just barely. All right. Yeah. I, do not. I don't know how oh, I, I do after the amount of money I gave yeah. them. <laughs> Sergey walks up to you guys. Now, just a word of warning. This thing has only been had a single test run in about 15 years, so it might need a bit of help to start. Luckily, I know just the way to hotwire it. Oh, boy. And right. Go for it. Sergey waits for all of you to get aboard the passenger car. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. when you do, he walks up to the front of the locomotive, holsters his wrench, and you can see, like, when you look out the window, you can see him up there. He kneels down, his shoulders widen, his legs stretch yes! as yes! machinery hidden underneath the exterior hull <laughs> of his dwarven size Warforge starts to expand out, shifting, connecting, shifting again, folding, extending, piece by piece like a self-solving puzzle, all the while ah! overall increasing in size until standing in his place is a massive me mechanized Warforge dragon. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's so yes. cute. Yes. I knew there was no way disguise. we were going to get out of this without seeing the Transformer dragon. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, that's my best friend. I love that he clearly I'm welded the horns friend. on at some point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you can hear his voice <laughs> echo out loud and proud, but no different from the same voice he had in his little form. <laughs> All yeah. aboard the Pilgrim Express. Oh, that's so cool. Because it's from the same microphone. It doesn't have that base <laughs> of the lungs. So Sergey stands in front of the locomotive, opens a small hatch of what looks like would be the boiler, and breathes in bright blue bolts of lightning, and the entire oh, train starts to hum with power. The blue I'm lights that decorate the various fight. sections of the train light up, and the, the rooms and the mechanisms. Sergey comes down uh, the side and has a little peek. You can see his head is like the size of the entire car. Uh, oh. And he peeks into the passenger cart that you're in. The conductor should be able to take you as far as Tigamura, but no further than that. You'll have to walk the rest of the way to Trevisetta. Thank you very right. much. It was nice meeting you. Where's the, the, the whistle? Stay safe. Oh, just the cart right in front. Run, yeah, run. you run up, you open the door, go up to where the uh, conductor is. It seems to be a human man, and he just kind of steps aside for you to pull the whistle. And do you pull it? Uh, yeah, I reach up to the whistle, and then I go over and grab the stool, and I like, loudly <laughs> scoot it over, and I jump up on the stool. Okay. And I, I pull you pull that whistle. that whistle, and it blows loud and proud for the entire city to hear. You gain an inspiration Dude. word. Whoa! <laughs> Quick, let's all take turns. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Line up. Ah, nice to finally hear that sound. So, Aww. if you're ready, this thing is so old, it'll need a bit of a helping hand. But trust me, once we get this thing running, not even the end of the world is going to be able to stop it. But just this once, well, it needs a little happen. bit of a push. Very encouraging. Sergey stomps his uh -huh. way back towards the caboose of the train. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! And after a moment, you feel the train just shake a little bit and briefly start to 
creak, and it starts moving forward. He's pushing it. Looking out the window, you can see that Sergey has two massive claws clasped around the caboose, and his chest kind of butted up against the back of it, his hind legs gripping the tracks as he's pushing. Just a little bit of elbow bow grease. <laughs> this is what I did with shopping carts when I was little. <laughs> and the train chug, 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 speeding up. Sergey's grip begins to loosen. Uh, he's running, unable to keep up with the train, and the train leaves the station. All the folk there to wave you goodbye, chanting and hollering at you. Sergey transforms back into his little dwarven stature. Mikkel hops onto his shoulders, and they both wave you off as well. Thanks again, pilgrims, and good luck on the rest of your journey! Aww. That's great. <laughs> this is so delightful. I really hope this town is okay when we come back and everything. <laughs> That is going to be oh, the end of the God. session, and you guys will level up. Awesome. Whoa! Yeah. Oh my God. Level, level, level up, level up. We did it. Level up. Yeah, baby. Manage the world. Yeah. yeah.